Oh, hello, hello, hello. We should be live and kicking. Live and kicking. You know, it's a good thing. It's beautiful Tuesday. It's a beautiful Tuesday, y'all. You know, before it was a beautiful Monday, and then the day changed, and now it's beautiful. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Hope you all are having the best Tuesday ever. I'm just checking, make sure that we are looking at least all right. Five. At least all right. And it looks looks good, actually. It passed the all right test. Oh, -ho, CJ, happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. CJ, how are you doing? How, uh... Oh, the H4 line. How have things been since you got back? Doing good, got some proper rests. So, did you get some improper rest before that? Got to grind at your job this week. Nice, yeah, I mean, I imagine being gone as long as you were that, you know, stuff, uh, stuff needs to happen when you get back. Hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been a good minute since I looked at this H4 line. But this feels okay enough. Rook B1. All right, let's let's skedaddle. Ski daddle. Was going to bed 10 a.m. Wake up at oh wait 10 p.m. Wake up at 6 a.m. Okay. The internet is accusing Mickey Adams of having been paid to draw coup cash. So <laughs> I was taking a look at that. Um now I will say, I will say up front, the one of the biggest things that I think absolves Mickey of or like shows he's probably not doing malicious things is his draw against Hans. I mean, against Gukesh, it, it's a bit it's a bit clear or more clear that Mickey should have been pushing on. But against Hans as well, like it was it was just a pretty clear advantage for Mickey and he agreed to a draw. So I don't know why Mickey has this attitude, but um I don't know. He he clearly does. He clearly has this attitude of of trying to keep things a bit more calm. But I'm curious. Um, I mean, as far as the accusations go, I, I would, I would, I would be interested to hear why Mickey did agree to a draw in that position. It, it is uh, weird. It is weird. I mean, up two pawns, seemingly with very to 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 no risk, very little to no risk. Um, it was a weird draw. It was a weird draw. Hans had a well-known draw against his buddy. Why why well-known in quotation marks? That just makes it sound like it's not well-known. Okay, knight moved. No longer knight c1, so bishop can go to b3. Oh, you just don't know. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I, if he takes my rook, I take his rook first. And then between the two pass bonds, this should be should be a clean victory. Should be a clean victory. Oh, okay. Run over there. Let's not blunder the pawns. It's typically not recommended for winning. And we're going to take there and then the other pawn. Yeah, I, rook h2, I don't know. I don't know what your goal is here, my friend. If it's losing, then you're going to succeed. 
Uh, Sevi, Sevi is, uh, I mean, outside of the fact that it was a draw in a position, Mickey definitely should have been pushing for a win. Is there, is there any like base outside of that or just people trying to come up with theories? Nice. Only one blunder. Hey, okay, I want to take a quick look at this opening at least. At least take a quick look. Because it's been a good minute. Okay, Bishop G7, fine, take, fine, take, fine, take. Oh, C5 is a move, but does not have a good percentage. Queen A5 a bit better. <laughs> it needs to hit resign. Hey, he, you know, he's trying. He's pushing the pawns. Just making sure. Just keeping me honest. Ah, uh, queen takes f3. So bishop e6 was unusual. Bishop b5. Best move. But he needs e4. Oh, yeah. e4 looks pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. e4 looks pretty good. Once he didn't play e4, though... Okay, I didn't even need bishop d5. I should have kept the pressure with rook fb8. But it looks like I pretty much kept the advantage, which is good. Yeah. Yep, yep. Mr. President. Not really. They just think the tournament was arranged to get Gukesh into the candidates, even though it's a historical event. Yeah, I mean... Like, I understand why that does seem weird, because it is one of the lower-rated London chess classics, and, you know, Gukesh, highest-rated, uh, he needs to win the tournament to get in the candidates. Like, it does look visually kind of funky, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't... I don't think it's I don't think it's particularly nefarious. I mean they still got some really good players and I mean Gukesh still cuz it, it's only one of his performances like he still would have had and still already has four other really good performances to get him into the candidates. Like it's not it's not like uh they got a bunch of people that he, they they would have throw now with that combined with mickey adams i don't know it's like i see i see where people because people are gonna find suspicion where they can like i, I understand kind of where they're coming from but i i think i i think it's just that they're 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 making something out of nothing Sponsor's been struggling with funds, I believe. Mm. Yeah, that would make sense, too. That would make sense. Hey, baby vamps. Yeah, the Santa hat. It's Christmas. I, I, I haven't fully decided if I'm going to wear the hat every stream, but thus far, I kind of am, and I, I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Sexy Santa. <laughs> Uh, it's Christmas time. You have to. It's the Santa part. I don't know about the sexy part, but maybe that is Christmas for you. I, I don't know. All right, Rook takes F3. And I, I played this quite a bit in these types of positions. Uh, usually I do play it when I get to take on d4, like that's when it's, it's sort of ideal, but I think this will be, wait, he didn't take on f5, eh? So now I can take on d4. And then some sort of discovery, but I could play queen b6, ah, oh, it's a mess. It's a mess, it's a mess, it's a mess. Or knight h4. I like knight h4. 
At least that's what Tony said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean... Maybe not a conversation topic I want to get into, but... You know, what What really makes a, a Santa hat sexy, right? Like, I think I think that's the question. Savvy, so imagine celebrating Christmas on the 25th. Yeah, really. Like, where... Do you, do you even Christmas spirit, bro? Hey, hey, Eleonora, how's it going? All right, all right, all right. Christmas is just another day for you, sadly. Ah, that is sad. I like, uh... I mean, it's it's just a big family day for me, and you know, fun stuff. But yeah, yeah. I uh, I think that I think uh, I mean, I really like Christmas. I love Christmas, but. I mean, some good family traditions and then just celebrating the entire month. It's, that's kind of where I'm at. Just having a good time. Mm, 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 mm. For all the flaws of Utah, the Christmas five years unrivaled. There we go. Very cozy. Love Christmas parties. <laughs> uh Hey, hey, Infinite Potato, how's it going? Um, okay, let's do this. Bishop F5. Pawns are hanging, but Bishop B4 looks nice. Oh, shoot. Ah, shoot. My time. My time. Okay. 37 seconds. 37 seconds. What? Are you going to sacrifice? No, nah, you can't sacrifice. I mean, do it, but... Really? No, I know this looks not too bad for you, but trust me, this is not ideal. I get that pawn, and now you have so many weak pawns, my friend. Ah, uh, maybe I should have played h5 there. Cut the king off even more. Mm. All right, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Actually, let's do this. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. No, ah, no, ah, <laughs> oh, that was dumb. That was a stupid game. I hate this. I hate this game. It was dumb. <sighs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, sorry. I missed the conversation. What's happening? Uh, promise you on behalf of Caden that we will throw you the best Christmas party if you come visit us. As long as there are no sexy Santa hats, I'm down. Shh, that's the secret agenda. What? Maybe they have some real sexy hats. You should check it out for us. I don't know if I see that either. 
Hey, Squirrely, how's it going? Welcome to the conversation. Ah, chess is brutal. Ah, the flag. I was too slow. I was too slow early. I, I, I felt really good about my, my technique there. Um, the switch here to defend the pawn from the side and just let the let the rook defend. I felt really good about it, but it was unfortunately slow. And then, yeah, the, ah, just a couple of a couple of uh, pre moves. I went for went for the trade, and then I played. I pre moved queen f six, which made made it so I had to sack the rook. Rajad. Are you you're not my opponent, are you? First time chatter? Are you just uh, feeling the toughness? Got to thank you for the arena the other night. Oh, Squirrely, those arenas were fantastic. Sexy Santa Hat, Caden, you got the message. Wait, baby, it's great to visit if you were. Sexy Santa Hats. Oh, Vix, you, I was your opponent. Hey, GG's, my friend. I was, uh... Yeah. You just got me. You got me in the the in the 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 speed. Got me good. Oh, you're you're playing another game. Good luck. No, no need to apologize. No need to apologize. I'm gonna be upset about it, but that's how you should do it. That's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> uh, uh, I wasn't. I'm just here for the hat. Oh, sweet, perfect. Oh uh, gosh, it's just it's just it's just the Santa hat, guys. It's just the black furred Santa hat. Calm down, calm down. Uh, no, I could play. I'll put down to play some viewers today. I just started a game because the button was there. So who am I not to press it? Yeah, Rajad, if you want to play after, definitely. Dr. Emu, you beat your teacher in chess while you were blindfolded. Wait. <laughs> Dr. Emu, why are you <laughs> why are you taking lessons from them? <laughs> Just uh you sent a challenge, but I ignored oh. I got uh I got a little I got a little in the conversation for a moment there, infinite. I didn't I didn't notice. Uh Rajad, you can uh Send me a challenge to Chess Dogs, my username down here. Oh, your school team. Ah, you, you keep saying this, Dr. E meme, and it keeps confusing me repeatedly. This is the second time we've had this conversation about it not being your chess teacher, about it being your school teacher. <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I want you to know, I want you to know, I was homeschooled and a chess player. This whole, you know, public school teacher thing it doesn't exist to me. It's not real. It's a fantasy. Blindfold wasn't as bad as you thought. Yeah, I mean, you, you dive in like it, it actually. Uh, I remember working with one of my friends, helping him improve. And I gave him some like like he literally learned and then a few days later, I was giving him some blindfold exercises. Um, you know, some pretty simple stuff, but still, I mean, blindfolds, like, not moving the pieces. And he did very well with it. Um, so I, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing about blindfold is you just got to dive in. I actually don't think I should sack that. <laughs> I want to, I want to real bad, but is Kingsley your product of public school you missed out? Well, I mean, I think, I think it can work either way, right? I mean, you turned out pretty well, Kingsley. Hey, baby B, being homeschooled is such a weird concept for non-Americans. Is pretty taxing though. Yeah, blindfolds. It takes a lot of brain power. Being homeschooled explains a lot about Caden. That's okay. I I don't expect it. I don't expect it not to. <laughs> I don't. I don't pretend. You know. Did I ever tell you your name was awesome? Uh, I don't know if you have. 
Oh, thank you. If if that's what you're saying, I mean, I don't know if you're just asking uh, for fun. If you ever did say that. Uh, oh, you're you're also homeschooled. Nice. It's good. It's good club. Retrospectively, I was just lucky that I went to a good public school. Want to play with you? Don't smoke me easily. Right, Jed? I make zero promises in that regard, my friend. I mean, I, 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 I don't expect I will, but that's, uh, will I try? Yeah, of course. Wasn't Fisher homeschooled? Don't go down that path. Ah, Fisher. Homeschooled and a, a true American? I, I guess I'm doomed. Went to public school here in Canada. Everyone here was dumb. Oh gosh. Fisher dropped out of high school. Oh, whew. saved. I'm saved. I have a chance, y'all. Why why did he play Rook D7? Couldn't he have just uh couldn't he have like saved that pawn with Rook F6? Like, that was a bit weird. I don't I don't. Yeah, I don't really know what's up with my opponent. This has been like a super chill game for me. We're just taking stuff, you know? We're just taking pawns. We're, you know, not letting him take my pieces. I We're just we're just mad chilling. Yeah, but now this pawn runs. See, now that pawn. Ooh, that was sneaky. All right, all right. I see you. I see you with your tricks. Tricks up your sleeves there. Um. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling that 2900 power. You just needed to get a losing position first. I mean, but not good enough, but not good enough. Yeah, he, he started to show up with some good tricks. He started to show up with some good tricks there. I was, uh, had to be a little careful. All right, Infinite, let me let me play uh, Rajad, and then, then we can play. Rajad, good luck. What a true Canadian moment. I, too, am Canadian, but can relate to homeschooling. <laughs> Yep, I was, uh, I mean, so I have five siblings, and for most of them, uh, they either went to public school or at least went back to public school for high school. Uh, by the time I hit high school, I was traveling at least once, uh, like one week out of a month. And that was just, you know, not kosher with public school. And uh, so I just didn't, I just didn't, I just didn't go back. Uh, so I, I still, I had, I had a good group of friends at high school. I took uh, one religious class because they have a religious class here in Utah. And that was it. That was my high school experience. Still got to go to a lot of the dances, still got to hang out, still... You know, as much as you could for a shy, you know, homeschool kid. Watch out for this one. He said he was 511 before, which means he just took someone down. Hey, good, good observing. Squirrely, yeah. Rajad, that pin, though, that pin's kind of nasty. Hey, hey now. Rook D one, huh? Alright, I'll I'll take there. I'll take I'll take this exchange. 
That's fine. That's fine. Mm. All right, now the other rook. And I feel like I should have taken there, but that's okay. You did early morning seminary in high school. I was so deep sleep deprived. I can't remember my first semester of junior year. Yeah, early morning. That was, uh, I did. I did not early morning, but just the morning. So it was pretty chill. Playing pretty well for a 500. Absolutely. I feel like, uh, John, if you can still hear me, if you'd slowed down a little bit, then you know, I think, I think uh, you could have kept with it. Fortunately, my extra rook is going to help out quite a bit. Yeah, I'm getting smoked. Yeah, no worries, no worries. You played pretty well. Um, but yeah, you, you, I think slowing down. I'm gonna I'm gonna play fast because that's that's me. But don't don't feel feel ugh. don't feel like you can't take your time. Till tilted tilling titled. No tiled titled Tony Taco Tuesday. I should have I should throw a Tony in there. What a draw, nah, come on, no draw offers. Gotta get that out of here. That's actually something, um, like I still, I still do get draws, but I've been trying even in my online chess to try really hard to not play for a draw. Like even sometimes when I know it should be, like still try to push. Rajad, you want to go again? One more? And then, and then, and then infinite, and then infinite. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sub 500 players always a trap, trap games. Nah, nah. I mean, the thing is, thing is, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to, to get away with cheating, honestly. You got to be kind of blatant with it. You lost on a tactical weak squares, yes. Uh, John, I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah, I've been that way my whole chess life. I'd rather lose a drawn game than draw the thing, unless the guy's super high rated or something. Yeah, no, it's just... Um... Some, something's really stuck with me uh, that actually Susan Polger talked about, uh, especially recently. Because, I mean, anyone that's been following the statistics, Wesley So has had an insane draw rate. And back when Wesley So was at Spice working with the Susan Polger uh, Institute of Chess Education, um, she worked with Wesley. Now, I don't think they particularly ended on good terms. But I remember her talking about Wesley and saying that that was something he really struggled with was was just playing a bit too drosh and once that he went through a period where he really fought that uh really avoided drawing and it did cost him some games but it benefited him a ton and, and really helped him make that next jump and that's kind of stayed with me and i've i've thought about it with different players over the years and and realized that those that tend to fight a bit more that don't go for the faster draws do seem to be the ones improving a bit more and, and, and uh, making those bigger strides. So I just think, I think two things. I think uh, there's something to it. Oh no, Rajad. No, no, that I was protecting. Um, I think there's something to it that if you really want to improve that uh, better to try and avoid draws, not always you can't, Draws, drawing is a part of chess, but I think it is better to try and avoid drawing. And then two, I just think it's more fun that way. Uh, oh no, the bishop was protected. Oh, okay, you're going after my queen. Um, 
and I have found it to be true. Like I, I definitely, I definitely love getting like having a drawn position and like trying to figure out some way to push for a win. Like it's, it's, it's pretty fun. The worst feeling in the world is losing a winning position because of one move. Luckily, it happens less now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Even Kramnik je je jealous of his drawing ability. Remember pre-2012 or so when the world jokingly called him Dronik? I do remember that. Oh my gosh. It has been so long since I've heard that. Dronik. I'm pretty sure I even said that a couple times myself. Wow. No, he, Rajad is definitely, definitely a good player. You're definitely playing very well. Jad, I don't know if you're reading chat or if you can hear me, but everyone thinks that you are playing better than a 500. So compliments to you, my friend. I would, I would agree with them. Cranky Kramnik. Uh, you've drawn over and over. Very interesting drawing with such boring chess. Yeah, but I mean, I think a lot of people at least go through that phase. Except the greats, you know. Except the all-time greats. Like, Anand, Anand definitely, I think, in his later years, still has that fighting spirit. But do I feel, I don't know, I didn't just checkmate him. I just really wanted to take the pawn. <laughs> Dr. E meme, you inspired me. Why, why, why checkmate when you can take pawns? You heard your game yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep following this. I, I gotta, I, I will finish you, Jet. I will, but I just want to take at least that, that one pawn. Now, now I'll do it. Now I'll do it. Just, I need to take a couple of pawns. Uh, GG, GG. All right, infinite, infinite. You were the one. You were the one asking to play first. You, yeah. Hey, hex heck. Well, in his defense, engines were taking stronghold, and it was really stupid to take risks early in the game. So he went for drawn positions. I think even then he saw the engines taking over. Yeah, none has been too old to calculate for about five years, and just tries to win theory wars and play infrequently to preserve his rating. No, oh, Rajad, I think you played well. I think you played well. Uh, again, probably just need to slow down a little bit. Ah, uh, that's right. Freaking infinite. Why do we play this? How bad is E5, right? It's got to be pretty bad. But I, I would guess the last time infinite actually looked at some sort of E5 here was a long time ago. So I'm going to play it, and I don't know what I'm doing, but... I don't think Infinite knows what he's doing, so we're good. We're chilling. Nand towards the end of his career was a lot more drosh. Kramnik towards the end of his career was a lot more wild of a player. That's fair. Thought the castles instead of d6 was from my 60 memorable games. It, it's possible. Hey, hey Rajad, thank you for the follow. Stream schedule really confusing, but <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I start at 12 on Mondays, uh, 1.30 on Tuesdays. Matt starts, I think, typically at like 12.30 on Wednesdays. I start at 11 Thursdays. And uh, Matt starts at like 12.30 on Fridays or 12. I don't know what's confusing. All the same time, every day. Like to look at that Berlin, but I got free time like I got six arms. <laughs> uh, No, don't look at the Berlin. Never worth it. Can never catch it? Ah. Oh. Carter, you, I mean, the easiest is, is if you can in any way have notifications on or, um, yeah, that's, 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 that's all I got actually. Otherwise, just try and, uh, remember, get an amateur, tell us what to do when you have an IQB. I don't know, you win games. Um, no, the nice things about an isolated 
queen pawn or just isolated pawns in general, the benefit you're looking for is you do have open space on both sides. So you typically are looking to be a little bit more aggressive. But outside of the aggression, oh shoot, he wants to take my stuff. It's very rude. Wait a second. Okay, take my stuff. I didn't think you could take my stuff. That was clearly a trap, Infinite. Good, good on you for trusting yourself, though. It's respectable. Ooh, wait. Wait. It's still interesting. Well, if he takes, I have to take the rook, so I can pre-move that. Bluffing? Maybe not. Yeah, taking stuff is rude. Um, no, the other thing about an isolated pawn that I I heard uh, that I actually is I really like is that uh, an isolated pawn. What's most important? is who controls the square in front of it. Yeah, rook d5. That's what I missed. You lucky son of a gun. You know you didn't see rook d5. What a fork. All that lines for rook d5 in the end. That's okay. That's okay. Infinite, you take your good position. I'll still beat you. It's fine. Dog treats are so cool. Aw, oh, thanks. Man, so so knight g5 was not the move. I guess, I guess. Wow, wow, what a combination. Hmm, I gotta, I'll, have to, I'll have to take a look at that because I feel like my idea of letting the pawn sit is good. I feel like that's kind of what I should do there, but knight g5 was clearly not the move. It's okay. Infinite's throwing already. Rookie five. That's one pawn. Am I bluffing now? Yeah. Now, now, now I start to bluff. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. That that actually is one pawn. I'm gonna I'm gonna win one of these. Oh wait. No, I do. I do. Yeah, because th that does protect the pawn. But there's no place to put this pawn that doesn't interrupt the protection here or just lose it potato took took you to school potato is freaking lucky <laughs> hey mia no i wasn't bluffing i just missed rook d5 like i saw that whole line with the the exception of rook d5 which gosh was just sad Uh, all right, I am speed, I'm speed, ooh, hold on, like I said, infinite will throw, I'm confident, I'm all up in this infinite potato head, you should definitely take So, sorry, I see the challenges. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Oh, potato, I'm so sorry. Carter, tell them how badly you got beat by me the other day. Uh, that must have been a different game that never played, because the ones I remember. 
I uh, won. Oh gosh, infinite. You took the time. You found rook takes d5. It was good. Yeah, this is this is. I mean, that's that's how the line should be played out. It's the only move. Rook d5. Otherwise, I'm better. And then here you just have an edge, but yeah, e6. Uh, your king on f6, I think, is well placed, and then e6 was a big downer. That was a dream. I he panicked. Uh, uh. Chad, can I recap to you one of my games that I'm about to recommend? You did a brilliant. No, very nice. I, I'm not going to pull it up now, but... All right, all right, y'all. I see the challenges. I got to give Infinite a rematch. If I win one against you, I'd never choke these again. Oh, choose an opening. It's not available. Yeah, I can I can turn that on for now. I right, I'm going to I'm going to turn it off though for Title Tuesday. Okay, John, you got to go. Take care, take care. I already know. You realized I played the Queen's Gambit the last game uh unprompted, right, Mia? Have you taken a look at this line yet, Infinite? Oh, knight b5. Ah, lame. Have I taken a look at this line? It's been a minute. I think it's knight of six. Yeah, castle quickly. Why don't I like the Berlin? Because it's boring as stuff. It's boring as stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, infinite. Hold on. All right, that looks like a clean pawn. You get the E file, which is nice, but. Random 1200 ELO guy. There's the line in the C3 the Sicilian that goes. E4, C5, knight of 3, E6, C3, 5, D4, knight C6, bishop B5, bishop D6, take, take, castle, knight E7. Engine says black is okay, but it does really bad for black at a match level. I played this line over the board a few months ago and lost pretty badly, where my isolated queen pawn suck sucked to play with a black thing. Uh, Yeah, so, random, I, I will tell you... Uh, um, those positions, like I don't, I don't even play those positions, but that, like that structure, is definitely been studied pretty extensively, and I do feel a lot more confident, even myself, not having played that, to play those positions as white. Um, I don't know. I, I just think there are some really good games there that I've seen over the years, and I imagine other people have seen uh, feel a bit more confident uh, in those positions. But, I mean, if it's equal, like, it, it should be there. You just really got to understand the subtleties because the thing about an isolated pawn, it can be really nice. One little slip-up, though, and all of a sudden you're just left with a pawn that that you're defending forever. Get him almost every opening but d6. Isolated pawns? English is the goat. English is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Let's get the king off of any checking. Ah, uh, is that a threat? Are you trying to threat something? Am I worried? I'm not worried yet. Not yet. I will be. I will be soon. I'm pretty sure. But I'm not worried yet. Yeah. Yeah. 
get B5 in. Prefer weaker but sharp offbeat lines myself. I scout a lot of 2300 plus players with the Alakine. The Alakine's defense. Oh, shoot. Is that, is that a thing the whole time? Infinite. Why haven't you played it yet? Gosh. My D5. All right. Now I'm a little worried. Pablo, points for challenge later. Hey, Pablo, I did, I did, uh, I did make it so you can if you if you want to. All right, let's definitely not take there yet. Mm -hmm. Now we can take. Now we take. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, shoot. I can't play what I was going to play. Oh, goodness. I cannot play rook c5. Rook c5 uh, loses to queen takes. So, let's take this pawn, because that's free. Would like to play some 3-2. Nice. Caden, would you rather lose every game you play against Kingsley, CJ, or myself? Uh, I'd rather not lose to either. Why? Why? Why Why would I pick? You always. Ha ha ha. Pablo. All right. Awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Challenges are coming in. Let's go. Can I beat Levy Rosman? Oh, of course. Would I beat him? I don't know. We'd have to see. But can I? Oh, of course. Yeah, Queen D4. That's fine. Solid. You're never breaking through. You always have to lose against one of us. Who would it rather be? Carter, you have a girlfriend from another nation? Uh, I did not. How's that going for you? Um, Savvy, definitely Kingsley. Like, not even kind of a question there. Like, if I had to pick, uh, I, I would pick Kingsley. If I was to lose every game, too. Because he would definitely be the nicest about beating me that many times. Very few items would ever have a plus score against just about any given GM, so the answer must be yes. Well, I mean, it's also like he says can. How about Hikaru? I actually, I actually have, I actually have beaten Hikaru one time, <laughs> one time. That's it. So yes. <laughs> Imagination. Ah, okay, okay. Nice, Carter. Nice. Good, good for good for you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I was hoping for there. Let's play H four. Great jokes, great moves. What else? <laughs> oh, he's cooking. He's cooking. Watch out. Infinite potato on the hunt for my stuff. How rude. Infinite's coming. Hmm. Hmm. 
Da 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 da. Oh, that's a little scary, actually. Okay, well, I mean, it was a little scary, um, for sure. That that move was less than ideal. Uh, infinite. Infinite. <laughs> that was spicy. That was spicy. That was that was very spicy. Um, yeah, I was a little scared. I think you had one moment you could have played a six actually. Yeah, right here a six. Oh, bishop b five was good though. King a four. King a four. Yeah, close one. All right, of those that have redeemed a challenge, baby B, let's go. Um, I feel a lot of folks don't fully grasp that the travel from IM to GM is more than 100 points. It's so much more than that. Yes, the level up. Yeah, it's it's the higher you go, uh, the, the more difficult that next 100 points becomes. Oh, Hex Heck. <laughs> Inf <laughs> Infinite. Stop, st 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 stop saying bad words. Come on, my guy. Can I see your games with other GMs in YouTube? Depends on what games... How, how is this not losing yet? What did we decide? I don't remember what we decided here. Mm. Alakine's defense. Oh, shoot. Man, I really should look at this, because I still don't know. Which is typically not how you want to live life. In chess... Okay. What I'm about to do may be highly questionable. In fact, I'm quite confident that it is, but... Oh, no, I could be reasonable. Dang it. Dang it, I could be reasonable. No, Mia, I haven't played with white yet. I haven't gotten the white pieces. I played infinite black and then this game black. Um, G4. This doesn't look too bad, eh? But now I'm hitting two pawns. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. Got him. Got a pawn. That's all I need. GG's. GG's. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, feeling the trash talk. Oh, Alex, don't listen to Infinite. Uh, when he says plus two and plus four, that was for me. That was my evaluation. Oh, no, you're right. In that second game, it went from equal to mate and one. I forgot. I thought I thought there was some sort of evaluation, but... Uh, infinite just uh yeah i don't know it has to work on those main ones i guess <laughs> uh infinite i'm gonna be so sad when you beat me because i enjoy trash talking you a lot i'm sorry like you're good enough i know it's gonna happen at some point and it's kind of a sad reality to me I had a thought for if you did that. And it was. It was good. Pretty sure it was good. But. Oh. Hold on. Let's do something seemingly inconsequential. Just rook b8. No big deal. Question is who doesn't get and enjoy trash talking to? Uh, I don't think I've trash-talked you, Kingsley. 
Caden, how's the whole getting married thing going? Hey, hey, yo, Carter, hey, who you, what? Where'd you get that idea from? Have you been talking to my mom again? Rick. Oh, Infinite, why you gotta make it sound so sad? I don't care that you trash talk me because I trash talk myself. Aw, Infinite. I'm sorry. Yes, you have. When I blundered the fork. That's only one time? Kingsley, that's not bad. That's not bad, my guy. Like, one time? Not bad. Oh, that is a move. Yeah. King, queen, c3. Is a move. Interesting. Ah, oh, good thing we're playing three minutes flat, because I actually think I scuffed this up. I don't know. Let's start sacking stuff and see what happens. You're expecting an invitation. Wait, what? Uh, you guys. Yeah, like I said. Um, okay, okay. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, Pablo and random 1200 ELO guy. You are up. There's Pablo. But give me, give me two seconds to refute this. It. Oh, I had, I had this thought. That it maybe takes, but I didn't believe it. I mean, I thought it could be a lot of things, so that doesn't really say much. But I guess this is just slightly better for me, just to take and trade. Oh, or take. Interesting, interesting. All right. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, one, one second, Eleanor. One second, let me let me play Pablo. Your challenge popped up right as I uh, was going to play Pablo. But he, he challenged before, and uh, I am running out of time, so I'm going to try and do this in order. Somewhat. Rajad, see you, see you. Oh, wait. No, wait. Oh, Rajad, sorry, I can't take a look right now. Pablo! Okay, it's been a long time, my friend. Good luck. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Steven. So many T's. Oh, I think you take there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Corrupted. Yeah, feel free to send in the challenges. If I hit the point, I have to start Title Tuesday. I will refund all the points. Uh, let's do this. What time control? Um, at this point, some sort of three minute, either three two or three zero, oh, is preferred, or or one minute. Honestly, is fine. I already have the tilted part. Hey, Steven, that's that's typically I've been calling it uh tilted Tuesday or tilting Tuesday or some form for uh quite a number of weeks now. Uh this was the first time I decided to throw in pretty much everything I could think of that was somewhat like titled. But tilting is definitely the most relatable. If I to redeem challenge you three times, can I get a rapid game? Because the title Tuesday, I do not, I do not even kind of have time for a rapid game. Ain't got time for that. Just join Untitled Tuesday, and for some reason, there's an FM playing in it. That's that's a uh, sus. Can you play sleep deprived? Tilting Tuesday. Oh, savvy. Why you gotta make it so real? Yeah, Title Tuesday. Yeah. 
It would be this is this is like my warm up. Like I, I get on early. Uh, here I get forked. I don't think that's the end of the world though, because I could sack and then the king's really open. Hmm. Let's do this here. What about four times? Uh, Baby B, Thursdays I accept viewer challenges. So if you're here Thursday, definitely do it. Aronian did win the early morning. I saw that. You know why I saw that, Sevi? Because I'm a true Aronian fan, just like you. Just in case that's where you were going, if I didn't know. <laughs> uh. Jed, hey, 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 hey. Why you gotta be so aggressive about looking at your game? What did that game do to you? That it, it built some sort of emotional distress. Yeah, trying to get knight d4. That's that's what I've been that's what I've been going for. Because all these squares that the knight can go to through d4. After this, Rajad, I already told you my guy, I'm not gonna do it. Glad we were able to play. But right now, people have redeemed some challenges that I'm gonna try and Get as many as I can before Title Tuesday. That starts soon. Look, look, you're going to teach me something. What are you going to teach me, Baby B? GG's, Pablo. GG's. All right, random 1200 ELO guy corrupted. Uh, random 1200 was first. Carter, maybe your Christmas hat will help you to get a girlfriend. Man, you do sound like my mom. She is just so insistent. I'm like, yeah, but chess. Hey, there we go. The reason why I'm telling you why to look at my game because I destroyed this guy. I believe it. I believe it. And, and I, I normally do like looking at games. I just, you know, right now, that's not what I'm doing. And uh, the more insistent you are, the uh, more I, 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 I kind of don't want to look at it, if I'm being honest. Like, no offense, but. Just right now, not not the time, my guy. People go insane for analysis for gaming. Apparently, apparently. Yeah, that's a Monday thing. Am I no, I do not stream Wednesday. So Rajad, there uh with the chess dogs, there are three of us. Me, Matt Crossett, and Antonio Padron, who we call him Tony. We call him Matt Boomer. Um, I will be live tonight, so I'll do this stream through the afternoon into the evening, and then stream tonight with Tony. Uh, but because I'm pretty much here for a very lengthy period of time, I don't stream tomorrow. Wednesday, I, I uh, recover. Tony, who is arguably the most famous. I don't think that's arguable. Like, I actually think he just is. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have a Wikipedia page? Wait, I thought he did. Or, no, that was the debate. Am I more famous because I have a wiki page? Hmm. No, no, I'm not worried about it, Mia. I'm not. I, uh... 
like I tell you, like growing up, the the uh, interviews and publicity and all that, like that, that was not me. That that was not like like I I I came to I came to love it, and that's why streaming. I love this. I came to really enjoy it. But growing up, I mean. My little sister once said it, and we kind of kept with it. We used to call reporters invaders, um, and that was kind of the attitude. Like it was good, and and I knew I needed to do it because it helped get sponsorship and stuff. But it wasn't it wasn't my favorite thing. I was a very I was a very shy kid. Invaders. <laughs> Yeah, measuring fame is for little boys. Like, yeah. He has the sister wives wiki page, but no Wikipedia page. Oh, man. He's got to get on top of that. Corrupted. Yes, I saw the sodium attack. What is the sodium attack? Did I totally bungle playing the Alkynes defense? I did. Now that I... Uh, I got in the zone. Is she good at anything or did, oh, of course, of course. Of course she is, my little sister. She, very good at the violin, very good at the piano. That was really her things in growing up. Sodium is night A3, okay. Good to know, good to know, I'm ready. <laughs> Wish I learned music earlier. My dad said pick a sport. Yeah, my dad never said that. <laughs> uh, maybe you can learn from your sister and get married. Oh, yay. Hey, yo, Carter. Hey, yo, Carter. Why Why are we... <laughs> Dude, why, why are you even thinking this much about marriage? Like, I know it's for me, but, like, you're not even... You're not even to that point yourself, my guy. Everyone in Utah plays piano. A lot of people do. Carter dropping bombs. Uh, pretty sure I have more girls than you. Bro. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. You're probably not wrong though. Savage. Kingsley, people are really concerned about your marital bliss. Hey, Kingsley, I, I know it's the same for you, my guy. It's it's okay. It's okay. He he got me. He did. He did. Got me a little frazzled. Oh, ouch. Burned. Chat will be chat. That is for sure. Okay, don't lose stuff here. Let's be boring. Queen e6. And then take with the king. So we can pretend that I'm not that boring. You need more baby cousins. Uh yeah, for those that are those are that are unaware, since he, he brought it up. Uh, I am related to Carter, which is a uh, part of why the uh, concern and the roasting. Yeah, yeah, I have been kind of leaving it as like he could just be a random guy. Kind of, kind of built it up though, like added, added to the savagery. But no, I, I am, I am careful about what I say about anyone in chat. GGs, GGs. Okay, all right. Where are we? Where are we? Um. I think I can get everyone. So I'm going to just, I'm going to accept Corrupted here. Play the Sodium attack. And then Eleonora, you'd be the last one. Why am I playing? Oh, oh, oh no. I, I, I've i seen Hikaru play this. C3, Knight C2. Yeah. I've seen Hikaru play this. It's cracked. At least it's cracked when Hikaru plays it. But that's kind of any opening. Oh, 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 oh yeah, look. Look at these beautiful dark squares. 
Yet yeah, vamps, knight a3 is the sodium attack. It's one I forget all the time, but they reminded me. A Rajad. Rajad, I probably only have time for a game with Eleonora, depending on, on how fast these games go. Mia, <laughs> all alone. Sorry, Mia. Yeah, Vamps is here lurking. You insinuating I lose fast? No, I'm I'm saying it could happen. I could lose fast, you know. I'm related to Carter, true blessing indeed. I think so. You think? Uh sometimes. It's not it's not a constant state for me though. Having fun, oh, <laughs> having fun, have fun with work, I think. Okay, I see, I see. Part of the fun is pretending to work like us right now. I feel like there's an opening for every word in the dictionary. Hmm. Is there, is there, is there a chess opening that is Christmas? Like any, any Christmas word for, for an opening? Ayo, wait, Queen B5. Coca-Cola Gambit and the Pepsi Counter Gambit. Okay. The Santa Claus. Yeah, is there a Santa Claus opening? And how do I play it immediately? Corrupted, GG's. Enjoy the sodium. All right, Eleonora, 3-1. Oh, I got white again. All right. All right, let's, let's hit him with the, let's double, let's double sodium. What do you want for Christmas? Hey yo, hey yo, Carter. I'm just, I'm just happy in the Christmas spirit. I don't, I don't need anything for Christmas. Now, am I gonna get stuff? Probably, but I just enjoy the season. It's not about getting stuff. Oh, I did do that thing, huh? All right. No, this is fine. This is fine. King in the middle. We win. We win with kings in the middle. If we don't lose. This, you could get married as soon as you tried. You're such a chad. Oh, hey, you're being nice to me. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Double sodium attack. Hmm, I just had some sodium. Man, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of want to play the sodium in Title Tuesday now. Sounds like fun. Not too bad. E4, E5, B3 looks like it might be Santa Claus. Wait, really? Is that your thoughts, or did you look it up? Why G takes F pre-move? Um, because I really want to be able to target this pawn. As I'm going to do now. Now, I decided to go for it with knight d5, knight f5. But, yeah, all around I'm going after the G pawn. And wanted the open file for it. Because my best piece is this bishop on b2. Sevi. Oh, you found some forums. Okay, found some forums. E4, E5, B3. That's what that's what Matt played at uh, Phoenix. He actually, wait, I could have done this earlier. And that's just good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's why. That's G, G takes F. That's why, right here, F4. 
Why do you want double pawn? Seems scary giving the H pawn. No, I mean, this H pawn, if he pushes it, it's just going to be a weakness. I'm not too worried about it. As long, But I do have to keep the pieces on, right? Like that, that's, if, if we were in a king and pawn endgame, completely different story. Yes, I'm super concerned about this pawn. But with these two pieces, like he's not getting that pawn down there. And so even in that sense, I think it's better to have the bulk to try and push my pawn through um, than anything. Uh, let's get rid of knight c5. Let's still keep knight c5 from happening. Uh, okay, fine, check. And b6, six. It's coming together. It's coming together. Watch out. Uh, okay. King comes in. King on d5. We're chilling. We're mad chilling. Mad or happy chilling? Mad chilling. And, uh, oh no, because you have 95. All right, all right. I'm going to save this bishop, not because I need the bishop, but because I need to cover this, this, this check. Ding, chilling. Oh gosh, that's too chilling. Oh, maybe, maybe the bishop was pretty good. Bishop pretty good there. GG's, GG's. Missed that fort. No worries, Eleanor. I did for the, I think I had it before, honestly. Like, F4, oh gosh, probably even here. Yeah, F4 is the best here. Like, it was sitting there for a while, <laughs> sadly. Uh, but, um, yeah, I do, um, okay, not not that it's the perfect, like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain this to you, the fully competitive Muffin Diver, but, I mean, if take a look, um, G takes F3 is the best move still. So it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just in this particular case, because of the pressure here, like it just, it just feels right. It just feels right to open up this file. Uh, especially because there's such little I can do uh, to, to attack. Yeah, it's, it's a, like I, I, especially with double pawns, have found the study of it quite fascinating because uh, double pawns is hated on, right? And so I, I really pay attention a lot. And I can tell you there's one position in particular that I... Oh, I'm not going to play the Alkynes. All right, Alex Alkynes, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refund your points because I don't think it's happening. Um, there's a classic 96... Oh, I didn't see that, Sebi. But... Yeah, there's one position in particular that is really fascinating where white has a bishop on g5 and it looks like it's threatening to play g takes f6. Uh, and the, the the crazy thing about the position is it's really it's really about not panicking about bishop takes f6. Like you actually want white to play it so much so that the number one computer move is h6 to, to provoke white to take. Uh, and it's just because of the the open file you're getting the benefit there is so much greater even though it's your king that's on g8 you move the king get the rook to g8 the benefit there is so much greater that it's worth allowing bishop takes f6 and worth even provoking it um so yeah I, I, the the whole the whole thing about double pawns being bad there is some truth they can be weak but there is a lot more benefit to double pawns than they often get credit for. No, it's not in the Bofinic. It's not in the Bofinic. This is a particular game. Um, 
very very different but it's it's just the one for that type of capture has has always stayed with me uh i think i do want to trade Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, titled Stu Tuesday does start in less than. Hey, yo, Rajad. Yeah, you're right. I should pick up the base here because I kind of need to go to the bathroom. And I need to switch accounts because I got to play on my personal one, not the streaming one. Actually, let's go Night H6 because I want F5 here. No, 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 Rajad, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I got time, my guy. Don't, 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 no worry. I, I wouldn't have played the game if I didn't think I have time. Carter, Carter, Carter. <laughs> maybe, maybe back off uh, me and dating. I, I would appreciate it. You had some good roasts, my friend, but at some point you gotta, you know, let's talk about chess or something. IHS, very cool. Thank you, thank you. Why can't you play on the streaming one entitled Tuesday? So because I have two accounts, um, they just want it. Like maybe I could switch and, and maybe I should ask them about switching if I could play just on the chess dogs. But they just told me like when I first asked to get the chess dogs one verified that I would need to play title Tuesday on my personal one. I think the overall idea is that my name is connected with my personal one. I mean, it's Caden Trove Chess. Oh, Rajad. Rajad, GG. Um, and they just need the one account to be playing. You can't have both. And, you know, because then I could, ha I could, in theory, let someone else play on my account, which they don't want, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't do, but they definitely don't want. But they also want, like, my name to be clear, my name to be connected with it, so. Yeah, yeah. They just told me that, and I listen. But I, I, I should see if I could switch it, if they would let me do it. All right, I'm signed in. Oh, well, that uh, made it disappear. Smart. There we go. Ooh, looking like quite the lineup here. All right, let me fade that over for standings. Okay, I went a little far. No worries, Carter. No worries. Kind of in the early days, Hansen played on both his account and the chess bra account. So it's something new. It's Magnus. Magnus isn't, but Magnus likes to join late. Uh, I will, I'm going to hurry and run to the restroom. Four minutes I got. And I will be back. We'll probably be streaming. Nice. I'll be right back. Uh, say nice things to the chair. It needs it.
uh, how, how's it going? How's it going? How, how, how was, uh, aw, you guys are so nice, saying good things, saying good things. Mia, thanks for having my back. Uh, the chair does, though. <laughs> the other chair, I think. <laughs> uh, we behaved. Where did he go? I, uh, yeah, so the bathroom now is a bit, bit further of a walk. And uh, it's kind of funny because I'm like, I'm just like walking through and a lot of people have like button up or like business casual. I'm like, yeah, I got a freaking Santa Claus hat. Y'all watch out. Bruges is streaming. Corrupted, I have played Magnus. He's all right. Uh, he's all right. Not not as good as Hikaru. But he's pretty good. Dang, it's actually... It's kind of an insane lineup. Like, Magnus. We got Magnus. We got Hikaru. We got... Danya, Ferruja, Ronian, Dmitri Andreikin, Nepo. Wow, Arjun. Yeah, wow. Holy goodness. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, Mia, did you want to do the emote only? Good night, Rajad. Good night. We got... Let me fade this over. Eight. Do it right now. Head of the game. Not messing around. All right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna start off with a good old sodium first round. You know, keep it chill, keep it relaxed. Don't freak out. We're just having a good old time. And then we're going to play something along the lines of a London because I'm still a sucker for my old ways. What can I say? Wow, okay. He, he's ready for this. He's ready for this. What are we feeling here? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I got a knight on c2. You know what we should do? We should take on c5 and play knight d4. Uh, is that dangerous with my king in the middle? No, no, we're good. We're chilling. But we got to make the most. Got to make the... Oh, he's going to let me take? Okay, okay. Isolated pawn. We were talking about it so much. I don't think it's that good here, though. I mean, it's okay. But it's okay because I still have some development things to figure out. Hmm. Ah, what do I want? There's just there's a lot of pressure here that I'm I'm just I'm a little bit mindful of. A little bit mindful of. I'm heavily considering some sort of knight d4. Okay. You have to go back though. No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's do this now. Bishop H four. Because I want to. I want to take control of of this square.
You guys with the crazy emotes. Let's go. Okay. Push me to. Man, I'm shocked by how quick, like, my opponent's playing so fast. He was ready to go. He was ready to go for Title Tuesday. Like, here I've been playing games thinking I warmed up, but no, I've, I'm like an amateur compared to this guy. He was, I, I prepared physically. This guy was ready to go mentally. Although I think I'm just winning a pawn, so maybe mine worked better. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could have just I just taken on B seven. Yeah, actually, gosh, I think I'm dropping back. No, knight c5. All right, now let now let's go bishop g3. Let's try and release some of this pressure. I think I, I think I need to start trading a few things because these knights, they're not the most threatening, but. Um, okay, I'll take here. What's, what's, what's the, what's the game plan here, my friend? Yes, yes, okay. Throw in bishop d3, he goes back, I go for the pin. I gotta be honest, when uh, someone like this plays really quickly, like, I really want to destroy them. <laughs> because, just like, you know, you, you you could be taking time. You could be, but I feel like, I just feel like you're guessing a little bit, you know? You're just, you're just, you're just trying to guess, just playing off of instinct. I'm like, no, actually, take your time. I'd appreciate it. Let's actually... Now, ironically, I got to speed up because I'm playing too slow, but my point stands. Yeah, don't don't discovery me. Thank you. Wait, what? Dude, your house. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. GG, GG. Sodium attack for the win. Sodium attack. First game, totally clutched. Totally clutched it with the, no, it's not a clutch. It's just uh, just solid. Man, my, uh, this was good though, right? Yeah, D takes C5. And then when I got knight takes f5, just get that slight edge. That was good. That was good. The practice with the sodium paid off. Who would have thought? Taking b7 wasn't best. Ah, oh, see, I just totally blanked this move, but... Bishop d6 is annoying. Because I can't take here because of the discovery. And then he's threatening rook b8. Guess I zoned in on the right pawn. This was good, good, good. Queen c4. Ooh, rook f e1. Oh, because he doesn't have, he's not actually threatening a discovery. Because of back rank issues. Like I was worried about something like this, but he just gets mated. Ah. Ah, okay, okay, nice, nice. 
Let's see what else. Any other games? Any other? Ooh, Faruja is still playing. And should be completely winning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Completely winning with that sacrifice. Duda is losing. What? This is like super lost. Where's the, where's even the potential swindle? I don't see it. Yeah, King Beast, uh, okay. I. Could have just played King B7, but that's fine. You can always play Knight C5 and then do it. Uh, wow, is he going to play it out? Is he going to play it out? He's going to play it out. Because you know them IMs don't don't know how to meet win with the Rook. Dang. That, that's okay. It's it's understandable. First round, he, he's definitely, he definitely uh, upset with himself. It happens. Earlier, I was watching Hikaru in U.S. history class, and it was greatly a disappointment in him. He was playing terribly. You know what happens, man? Oh, is he going to run out of time? All right. Playing out, out of frustration. I understand. Letting your time run out. That's not a great show. It's not a great show. Ooh. Dang, this, this game could go on for a long time. If Black manages to win the pawn, then we could be looking at another 50 moves. Wait, King F6? King F6? Wait. Is he gonna is he gonna win? <gasps> no, no, no! Oh, that's the worst square! Oh, that's the the turnaround! Oh no way! The turnaround! The oh, not only not only was that losing, but the rook got skewered. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. Wow. Wow. Alright, here we go. Game two. GM Peter. Rithu Gupta. All right, good luck, friend. Good luck. Ooh, some D4. I, I think London. I feel like he's going to play the London. Oh, no, he did go for the Queen's game. Okay. What's with the... Okay, now he's picking up the pace. Now he's picking up the pace. The hesitation there was kind of weird. Like taking taking just that little extra time in an opening like this. Hmm. So I could take on c three, but uh, giving up the dark squared bishop, not not too excited about. Also because I think I'm gonna get a good position anyways. I, I don't I don't need to I don't need to go down that path. My bishops here are looking like they're gonna be amazing. He he actually shouldn't take on b6. Oh shoot. <laughs> Bishop g5. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Alright, I think I actually do need to play f6 here. I if I allow knight f6 or knight e7. Uh that would probably not be good. All right, take. Let's try and get a queen trade. Again, I think my bishops. If I can, if I can calm this down a little bit, I think my bishops will be good. Yeah. Okay. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. Are we starting to get worried about it? Not yet. Oh, I could have just. Could have just taken on a2. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go after b2. We'll go after b2. We have knight a5. We're chilling. We're chilling. At least 5% chilling. 95% uh, playing bishop b2. You actually trapping it. 
he actually might be trapping it. Uh, should I have played? I think I should have played b6 first. Probably. This is fine, because now, now I'm threatening bishop a2, I think. Oh, wait, I was thinking about b6 anyways. Hmm. Actually, go here. Jokes, 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 jokes. No, no, don't, don't take, take, take that. Don't, just, just, just don't take it. Ah, I feel like, I feel like I missed some, I feel like I missed some solid chances. Uh, I still like my position. Uh, Bishop B2 is on the horizon. I got pressure on here, so it's hard for him to push A4. But he's playing G4? What? Why would you ruin your pawn structure? That doesn't make... You don't think that makes sense? Why would that make sense? Ah, now some knight e5, knight f3 stuff could be quite, quite good. Bishop c8, preventing... Is that the whole idea? He just was really worried about bishop... A or me pushing to a6. Kind of a weird, I don't know, these last few moves have been kind of weird. Like, I would have, instead of g4, I would have expected something like bishop c1 instead. But, I, I think, I think what, what, what's, what's happening, why, why I'm a bit confused, uh, is because I feel like my opponent realizes I have some pretty clear ideas, I have some pretty clear threats, but is struggling to find some of their own ideas and threats. And so they're they're just panicking a little bit, and they everything he's doing has some semblance that's like okay, yeah, I can I can kind of see where you're coming from, but just just enough off that it's a bit strange. No, then he has bishop h six. He does have bishop h6, but let's do it at least once. Hmm, that was sneaky. Oh, don't go there. Oof.
Dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. I let it slip. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. I let it slip. Ah, oh, Bishop G5 was good. Ah, oh, I'm going to do it to myself. Where did it? Where did it? Did I? Did I? Or was it just all good enough that... Ooh, bishop takes a three here. Ugh, give the pass pawn. Yeah, I wasn't excited about that. Ah, bishop g5. It's just good enough. Just good enough. Ah, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah, he just he he just he just held on just the perfect amount. Like this whole thing. He just held on for the perfect amount. All right, I, I take back all the all the things I said about you, opponent. You played you played well all around. I don't know what I'm talking about. You did. Good job. Predict ten and a half out of eleven. No risk, no reward. Ah. Man, I had I had uh I had the pressure, I had the pressure, but Wow, black has to be What? Wait, the pawn's oh the pawn's going that way. I thought for sure the pawn was going this way. Oh, this is just the draw, right? Or is it weird with the pawn on A7? <laughs> if you feel nervous, remember I'm watching. I like you like people like Nihal Sarin. I would crush you. Okay, okay. I'll try. I'll try and get to him. Draw. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Third round. Here we go. Watch out. Third round. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on since I think Mia got distracted. Sim Cohen. I don't know this guy. Good old friend Cohen Leanouts. Are oh, you trying to study? No worries, Mia. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Spam. Emotes. Hmm. This guy, this guy uh, was smart um, and taking on d4. If you don't take on d4, I quite like taking on f6. Bishop takes and then knight e4. It just guarantees I either win this pawn... Or I ruin the pawn structure uh, is a, a big part of why I play Bishop G five uh, against the the fianchetto. Ooh, he is going for the Isolani, huh? Wasn't too bothered by this though. Was not too bothered by this. Ooh, he is gonna take. Yeah, I think this should just be clear pressure for me. I get to play C3. Okay, he's trying to keep me from playing C3. I get to play C3. <laughs> and then, as I was saying earlier, isolated pawns. Quite often it's important who controls the square in front. Wait. Ah, but I lose the bishop, which does suck. Because the dark squares are pretty valuable for both of us right here. No, I think I should, I think I should take it. I think I should take it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, but that's fine. That's that's who I am anyways. You know, I'm just a little bit awkward. Natural state of being for me. Mm 
Protect that pawn. Yeah, I see your trick, dude. I see. I see what you want. You want. You have one trick. I respect it. It's a good trick. But I don't know. If you, you're hoping I play c3. That's what he's hoping. He was hoping I'd play c3 there. Sneaky guy. Sneaky son of a gun. It was a good trick. It was a good trick. But I think. Holding everything for the moment. Still untangling, though. Still some tangle to be untangled. Ah. I actually, actually, pretty sure this works. Because I have knight before. If he takes, and then if he threatens my rook, I have a check. That's that's actually... <laughs> the reason I was to this so quickly is I was thinking about rook e1 anyways. Try and get a trade, since his rooks were better than mine. And, uh... Yeah, it kind of gives me some space to work with. Hmm, okay. Here. Take queen h4. Rook d1. Yeah, yeah, so let's let's not get fancy. Just rook e2. Ah, there were some nice ideas there. Knight e5 with queen h4. There were some nice ideas. Like, if he tries to protect queen d2, knight f3 protects the rook, hits the queen, it has to go somewhere else. But, it's just not enough. Yeah, and I want to get in g3. Because while I do have a square for my king, it really wasn't the best one. H2 when my opponent's dominant on the dark squares. It's not typically ideal. Alright, alright. I want to swing this knight around. Could swing it this way too. It's 93... He's thinking, he's thinking. Oh, wait, 95, 97. Trying, I'm going after this pawn. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's not so clean. That's not so clean because he has queen d1. Yeah, he has queen d1. All right, you're right. Just kidding. Just kidding. My bad. That's on me. Thought there was something there. Uh, 95, yeah. They're just, we're just moving the knight. The knight's just, hey, that's a free stuff. Thank you. You tried to get fancy, my friend. And it was the end. GG's. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty chill. Oh, Benoni. Hey, wait, wait. No, not for title Tuesday. Sorry, sorry. I should have paused these. I should have paused these. That's my bad. Uh. Turn emotes only off. Frick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the amount I know how to play Benoni is not enough to, uh, like, because the thing about playing in openings, no, no, it's, it's sound, but in, in this time control, like, it's just going to cost a lot of time. 
to try and play something I'm not familiar with. And against these guys, time is very important. Ooh, wait. This is this is interesting. <gasps> One second. Whoa. Whoa, he's running out of moves. Oh gosh. Tree core. I don't think this is I don't think I know what this is. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. No, this should I think this should be a draw. No, I I don't know. This is this is messy. My gut says it's a draw, but this low on time, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the amount of times he's gotten under a second. Oh, gosh. Night of two. Night of two. Night of two. The checks, wait, oh no, the knight's protecting the pawn. Oh no, wait, knight g5. Oh no, it's losing. Ah, Hikaru does it. Oh, Hikaru does it. Wow, dude, ahoy. Wow. Oh, oh I, I'm nervous. I was nervous for him. Yeah, I, I definitely expected Hikaru to win that, but. Oh, with that low on time. Like, you just never know. What a grind. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was a good job. Good job by Hikaru. Uh, this end game, Knight and Bishop. Actually, I've gotten this before in a tournament game. Oh, there it is. Like, it, it's not as hard as, as you think, because you think the Rooks will probably get traded, and then you have to win with uh, Knight and Bishop. But if you play it right, like, you don't have to trade the Rooks, and it's actually not too bad. Round three, round four, here we go. Ooh, this guy's pretty good. Dimitri Andrekin. Hey! He's not bad. Let's go. Are we going to get the same? Oh. Okay, no, no bishop takes. If bishop takes, I like e4. If no bishop takes, then... Okay, he finally, finally plays f5, now that I can't play e4. Uh, I've played, I've actually played this structure a ton. Uh, particularly in bullet. Knight to g4? That's most people play ninety four. I don't know. Is he gonna go for an attack? Feels like he is. Um, I mean, I put my knight here. Is he gonna play g five on me? I I mean g five. I take. I feel like. Uh, It's spicy, but I'll take that pawn. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Okay, I'm a little afraid of Dimitri Andreakin, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not afraid of no ghosts, but this guy's pretty scary. King f8 to stop knight g7. Nice, nice. Take, take.
Bishop F3. I think is the move. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm I might be real quiet here. This is walking a bit of a wire. Um, for example, knight f4, he takes, takes, and then sacks the rook, and I'm actually in trouble with just the, stopping the mate here. I had one idea. I had one idea with bishop f3, and it was this. Knight takes f5. <laughs> bishop e6, what? Okay, let's do it like this. And then fight for the H file. Okay, don't get fancy. Don't get fancy. Just protect the pawns. I am I am up a pawn. Okay, I had I had a brief uh, worry there where <laughs> I was not I did not count right. I'm like ah, I went through all this. I didn't even win a pawn. Uh, that would have sucked. Take. Ah, uh, I can't do that. Wait, can I? No, I do. Wait, hold on. I do lose E3, though. Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. We don't lose. We we he did get the pawn back, but on a positive note, I'm not losing. That's positive. I feel like that's positive. Actually, let's go B4. How is this end game actually for me? Who, who's better, or is it just a draw? I feel like it's just a draw. Like, if he plays Rook H2 and we trade everything, we're going to find out, though. Mm, I guess we're not going to find out. <laughs> should be a draw though should be should be if I don't flag which you know is a good oh king c7 oh shoot
King C7 was a bad miss. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's just GG's. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, that was that was an intense game. Uh, yeah, King C7. Uh, I can't believe I... Yeah, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I'm pretty sure it should still be holding up to this point. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, working games are hard. It was really just that one move. It was really just that one move that, yeah, I mean, otherwise, if no, if no King C7, so you guys can see, like, 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 King D6 is only better because he goes King D6 than King C7. Ah, uh, that was just a, that was just an oversight. Uh, yeah, this was a good, like, him transitioning into this endgame was smart. Apparently, Rook C takes E1 is a little bit better. We need one here. Dang. But I was better out of the opening. I was better. Ah, it's doing all right. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, next round. Oh, I was going to say, was I actually one of the last ones? Hey. The guy I drew. Wait, what? Oh. His opponent emphasizing that this is a draw. They are st still playing it out. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There's the draw. And there's the checkmate here. So let's pull up the standings. Magnus Carlsen topping it. Four out of four with the best tie breaks. But Icaro, four out of four. Perugia, four out of four. Danya, four out of four. Wow, a lot of the top guys. So who hasn't been perfect? Dimitri Andreykin, we know, has a half. Mm. Any people that lost? Aronian lost. Who did Aronian lose to? Let me switch to the full screen view. Lost to Sergei Zagalko. Oof. Oof. Wow. It's uh looks like a brutal ending. Knight takes C or Rook takes C six. Rook C one. Ah, Rook C one to finish it. Wow. So we're good. We'll close that out. Close out my home screen. So Aronian Bobby. Bobby lost to Igor Miladonovich. Uh, have you all been seeing some of the... Because Bobby's kind of jumped back into talking about the, the cheating allegations. And... I do feel like Fabi now is one of the top of the top players that feels like there's more more cheating going on than meets the eye. Wonder how, <laughs> I wonder after this loss how he feels. If he's feeling all right or that uh, that's changed at all. Looks like Fabi never really got a good position, honestly. Like, it was okay, but it was okay. Hmm. Hmm. And then, what about Duda? Did Duda... Did 
Duda drop out? No, he is there. He just has really bad tie breaks. So Aronian, Caruana, and Duda. A few players that have lost, but a lot of these top guys. I actually feel like you, you see more of these top guys by round four that have, have drawn or lost. So the fact that there's there's only the three, four. I mean, if you count the draw by Andre again, that's that's pretty. That's actually pretty crazy. In another tab here, I'm gonna pull up the timer because it is it is round four, so it is the break. Two minutes and fifty seconds to go. All right, two minutes and fifty seconds. <laughs> Feels like forever. How's everybody in chat doing? What I should go, what I should do in this time, because I because I've played this enough. It's probably good. I'm doing pretty well, Mia. This was a, this was a very spicy game. Nine f four is right. Oh, apparently I should just take what what's wrong? Oh, if he goes bishop f8 right away. Knight takes h5 is wrong. It wants me to play c4. Oh gosh. Working. Yuck. <laughs> well good. Work works good. Uh seven games left. Seven games. Oh, gosh. I don't think I have the heart to play like this. This is how I'm supposed to play. Oh. Oh. Is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah, seven. I know how to count. So still lots of, lots of chess. Was it always this late? Um... I think. No, I feel like the games are going particularly long. Mia, I did play the Queen's Gambit. Hold on. Oh, this is the wrong account. Who did I play it against? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Hold on. Am I BSing right now? 47 seconds. All right, I got time. I'm gonna search myself. Now I have to play another one because he didn't see it. Ah, is that how them works? Yeah, fine. Chess was invented in 1866 by Bobby Spassky. Is played by three players: White, Black, and Hikaru Nakamura. Other than that, corrupted. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. The bishop is called the elephant in Arabic. Oh, vamps! That's got to be. Man, because Sarawan Sarah chess actually has an elephant, so that's got to be pretty confusing. You just can never play Sarawan chess. I'm sorry. All right, I got I got emote only. Uh, let let me do her her schoolwork. <gasps> Queen takes. I wasn't ready for it. You were so close. No. Um. Oh gosh, this is Tony's game against uh from the Utah close, knight b6 is the move. <laughs> Cause Tony didn't play knight b6 and, and we looked at this quite a bit. Uh against uh Shreyan. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had a feeling I played knight b6 so quickly. It seemed uh, pretty unlikely my opponent would actually 
Go for it. Take the queen. It does, and, it, and I do think it does look good for black. Uh, it takes my queen, I take on c3, then I take on a4, and the, sh the pawns just don't look very exciting to play with. Hmm. As boring as it is, I think this should be the move because I need to start getting this queen off of c4 because my big target, I think, will be trying to get a knight to c4. It's super lame, though. Yeah. Okay, good. My opponent agrees. It was so lame, he doesn't even want it. Queen f5, hit this pawn. And now I'm going to go this way. Uh, the reason I, I wanted that is to block the rooks here with the bishop on d3. Uh, he's going, holy cow, he's going for it. Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm going to take there. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, 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 it's just a move. It's just a move. That's it. It's just a move. I'm not worried. Come at me. Come at me, bro. So, so like a common idea would be bishop h6, knight g5 here, but then queen takes b2 uh, will really, yeah, take the pawn and provide a lot of really nice defense. He doesn't want to go for that. So I think now uh, h5, g4 is reality. Or possibility, I should say. Let's bring this knight to f6. That will really lock down the protection on that side. Knight on f6. I also have ideas of taking there. Yeah, because now knight g5 is no big deal. It's no big deal. It just looks scary. Feels really scary. I'm not going to lie. I say it's no big deal, but I'm still afraid. Just a little bit. It is pretty close to checkmate. Ooh, is he just, he's just going to go for it and play this position. All right. Uh, ooh, Rook D7. Bothered by rook d7. I am enough. Let's do this. Queen a6, defend this way, and then rook d8. Oh! Oh, fudger. That is a move. <laughs> oh, he's just going after the f6 pawn. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Do we panic? Okay. I already panicked, so the answer is yes. But... After we calm down, let's let's go with f5. He can just take, because taking, he has at least a draw, which I don't want. Draws are lame. But if he takes with the bishop, that at least gets the pressure off of c6. So I can I have time to play rook d8 and start pretending to freedom. Whoa, he's going for it that way. He really wants me. I think I can ignore him. I think I can ignore him. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a minute amount. Gonna ignore. He's gonna be so patient. So annoyingly patient. All right. All right. But now we swing. Now we're now we're swinging over there. 
I'm gonna go Batman on this, or no, not <laughs> Spider-Man on this guy. <laughs> I guess Batman swings around too. All right, he caves. He caves. Releases the pressure for the pawn. Ha! I knew you didn't have it in you. Wait, I'm going to go after that pawn now. Whoa. We're gonna clutch, we're gonna clutch, we're gonna clutch. No. Clutch tastic. Clutch forever. Clutch, clutch, clutch. We're gonna clutch. We're gonna clutch it. You know, we're we're gonna do it. We're 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 clutching. We're clutching so good right now. Yeah, we're we're just we're clutching it, you know. We 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 clutch those. We clutch those every time without fail. I gotta I gotta be honest. When I'm low on time, the uh, the just little positive sayings go a long way for me. <laughs> oh, that was that was scary. That was scary. That was scary. I did not even sort of think earlier that he was going for F six. Which was my bad, because I'm just better here. Like, I, I just, Rook F D8 is the move it recommends. Just don't even worry about the Rook coming to D7 or D6. That makes sense. Uh, I got so wrapped up in the C6. Totally, totally uh, spaced that he could also go for F6. But I think I managed to keep it at least in the realm. Until, yeah, until, and I did, I did go for this trick that my, one of my opponents went for earlier. Okay. It's not made in this case. Take, uh, like if he pushes, take, take, check, but it would release some of this pressure. And I thought, I thought I'd be able to clutch this. Uh, he stopped it with G3, but he really slipped up. Rook D8 doesn't actually threaten anything apparently h5 is really good which would have sucked but it's okay we clutch we cl <laughs> uh, all right what, what other games are going on what, what's happening Ooh, nepo and uh kakpar right that's his last name or no that's his first name kakpar it's probably not Ooh, the draw nice Nice. Manifested clutch. Yeah, yeah. You know? When you're really stressed, you just you just need those uh what is it? Positive Like when you say something like that, what is it called? It's not reinforcement. It will come to me eventually. 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 All right, Mia. Affirmations. Thank you. Yeah, ha ha. Emote only. Yeah, I think positive affirmations are good. Ooh, Grunfeld. All right. I've been playing a lot of this Queen B3 line. Accelerated Russian. Let's see how well my opponent does with it. Let's see how well I do with it. I'm pretty sure taking the pawn here is the way and that uh, for both of us, this is correct. Black does get compensation for this pawn, but very few people are actually willing to give up this pawn. Now in Blitz especially, I think this will be easier for me to play. I don't I don't even remember how black gets compensation for the pawn. So let's see if my opponent can can prove it. He 
He's thinking. That's good. I like the uncertainty. Uncertainty after a pawn sack. Knight B4. But your knight has no squares. Yeah, he does get to play bishop h6. Which is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. All right, all right. I think let's not get too crazy. Let's not get too crazy. All right, actually, I'm immediately, all I'm thinking about are crazy things. So high chance of craziness and fun. Yeah, bishop b3. Yeah, I'm going. King g3. Get out of here. Get out of here, king. Save yourself. Yeah, it does, those are just those are just pity checks. Those are hopeful checks. You got nothing. Keep keep going. Keep checking me. My king will keep running. And run for days. Check me here. Maybe I'll go king g4. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Looks like fun. He's gonna hit me with that first. Okay. Bishop g3. Okay, now now if he checks me, I definitely what? he actually have the mate? That actually is kind of scary. I haven't seen the mate yet, though. It goes night G's. Oh, idiot! Oh, he has the mate, the bishop g5. It's right there. I think I found the checkmate. <laughs> oh, no. Rook takes c3. Oh, my king was not safe. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. In my defense, though, in my defense this time, Mia, yeah, it was... Uh, Dang, he just played this. He played this well. Wow. He played. No, so knight b4 was unusual, but knight b4 is pretty good. I should go rook d1. I underestimated bishop h6. Thought I could have learned how to play the Russian system from the best. Oh, he played this well. Um. Yeah, king f2. It's uh, he. He was going in the right direction. I think with. Uh, F3, knight c6 is the move. Bring the knight in. Like, I, yeah, I wasn't ready. He, he, uh, I wasn't ready. He played the perfect game. Like, I, like, like, legitimately. Watch this, watch this. 97.5 accuracy. He played the perfect game. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. He says there was, there was a miss. Wait, where's the miss? Rook AC8. Oh, see, that's not even true. That was a quick analysis. <sighs> yeah, he just played really well. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. Got eaten alive. Yeah, but I mean, as far as this goes, yeah, I totally spaced bishop g5. Oh, yeah. Go down and... Uh... Which is crazy, because the one thing it's saying he's missed, like, isn't. If it, if it actually thinks about it, rook ac8, top notch. Hey, mortal might, how's it going? That is awesome, too. Thank you. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah. I I uh I mean I I feel bad but well I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I can't. 
I, I'm not 3450. I don't know. I don't know what I can do with that one. <laughs> Going well, good to hear it. <laughs> That's better than Magnus. I it's just I wasn't ready for Magnus. Uh, that thirty six hundred. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll get. I'll get there one day. Wait, speaking of Magnus, is this just a draw? Yeah, they've just been repeating, right? Rook c5, rook b5. Oh no, because rook c5 now, rook c1. 3600. <laughs> That's at Stockfish. Ooh, he does go for it. Wait, rook takes? Oh, then rook c1. Ah. Oh, I think Magnus is just winning here. Hey, what happened to my evaluation bar? Yeah. 1.5. Kirwana does an interesting interview discussion regarding Title Tuesday. Is that on the C Squared podcast? Because I've, I've only been seeing clips of, of that one that I imagine you're talking about. I haven't seen the full thing. I really, I really should go watch it because it does seem quite fascinating. Magnus Carlson, six out of six. Oh, wait, how do you win this? What was the, what was the, what's the strategy? Bring the king over, keep the space. Yeah, that should work. That should be that should be an easy, easy way. Wait, why is he going back? What? No, bring the king over, right? Bring, bring the king. Push this pawn to g seven. Oh yeah, he needs the rook here because king a it's not actually safety. Okay, okay. Wait, bring the king over. Bring yeah. Now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. And Nepo is going down. <laughs> yeah, you win it. You just you just win it. Duh. Obviously. Easy. Easy. He just wins it. Easy. No. Tagalko having a really good event. Has now taken down Aronian and Nepo. Good on him. He's a good player. Hmm this holding this looks like a fortress for black oh there it is repetition wow that's an interesting fortress no 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 uh sergey zergalko not boris Golko. wait <laughs> wait bishop e1 bishop c okay well never mind this game's lame Bishop e1, bishop c3 looked at least interesting there. Okay, I do just go for the draw and our final game. Of course, is a rook versus rook. Ban people that play out these. Unless they win. <laughs> like, if they play it out and draw, then it's fine. Or if they play it out and win, then that's fine. But if they play it out and they draw, get them out. Kick them. Chess Dreamer 2020. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Mia, you got this. Thank you. All right. What, what do you got for me, Chess Dreamer? What do you got? Hit me. Hit me with your best D4. I'm guessing D4. We're going to get another D4 game. We are... We're Okay, well, screw that. <laughs> we're going to get another E4 game. Oh, and another queen takes D4, really. Same line, bishop D7... 
Dang, I should I should have taken a look at that other game. I actually quite like how I played that other one. Bishop g7, rook d1, castle, knight b6. I was a fan. Same, same line. Okay, knight b6. What are the odds? What are the odds? I've literally never played this before. Like, I've played very similar positions, but this exact knight b6, never played it. I just know Tony. We looked at it. We analyzed it from his game, and now I've gotten it twice. All right, this guy is mixing it up, but we can transpose. In the other game, I played queen c7, queen e5, then queen f5. Here, queen c8. If he castles, we get a transposition. <laughs> Who needs to be smart when you can just be smart in another game and play that exact same thing again? What are the odds? Okay, he's going to spice it up. Bishop h6. This opponent is not going for 94. This is the first difference from the other game. Uh, let's go rook d8 because I want to force him to capture. I want that to happen because leaving it can just be annoying sometimes. All right, now we're going for rook d4. <sighs> Chess dreamer, when do you become a fun person? I don't, I don't mean, uh, no offense, my guy, but... Hey, wait, isn't this just, like, really bad? Knight a4? Because this is pinned. And I got lots of threats. Yeah, I, I, I thought we had this conversation. I thought we did. I, I guess he just didn't listen to me, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, all right, let's protect this so that my knight is free to move. Ah, now he's, now he's, uh, stopping it. Okay, okay. Let's go here. Here first, then b6. I'm expecting knight e4, where I will then get knight e5. Start to create some pressure. No, he doesn't want it. Chess Dreamer is thinking now. He is ready for my tricks. He is ready for my traps. But rookie four. Yeah, you're 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 doing stuff. You keep doing you, buddy. You got this. I believe. All right, bring the king. Uh, let's go for, I think a rook trade. Rook c8, 97. And if he doesn't go for the trade, that knight's sneaking up in there, which is nice. All right, all right. Rook c6. I want my knight on d6. Ooh, you're going to lock your pawn on c4. Let's lock it. No b3. Your pieces are now tied down to defending. Okay, and now I prepare b5. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking I should have thrown in rook c1 for, for a brief moment there, but the bishop wasn't actually hanging, so I think that would have been not as good as I thought it would be. Gotta watch this knight. That's that's kind of my one danger here is that I, I miss some fork or something. Otherwise, I think I'm chilling pretty well. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Wait a second. Is this just easy? Actually, let's take this way. Yeah, because I think he is winning the piece. If I take the piece, I think he does win it. Uh, but let's just not stress. Let him take the knight there. Let me get a pawn instead of letting him take a pawn. And then I'll clean up over on, on the, the king side. And he's, yeah, he'll be, he'll be way too slow for this. I'm going to take that pawn pretty much for fun. Um, <laughs> I don't, I could just take on g2 and start running. But this looks fun. I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to just take all this stuff. He can have this pawn. I'm going to go take this pawn. Yeah, I'm going to go take that pawn. GG, my friend. Hyper accelerated dragon for the win. What a cracked line. Is this actually good? Knight B6 and going for this whole idea. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, queen f5 is a top move. Queen a5. Equalized. Oh, knight a4. Knight a4. It was a good rookie one. Just looks so chill, but knight a4 was good. This is, here it's an advantage, and yeah, I think I kept it the whole game. I think I kept it. I don't think I, I... Oh, apparently apparently I could just win a piece with Rook D5 or something. But other than that, that's good. Uh, how many rounds? Four. Uh, so that was round seven. And then after the next round will be break time. Raise, how's it going? Corrupted, if you stick around till after Title Tuesday, we can definitely play. I, 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 I When Title Tuesday finishes, I don't, I don't just... Uh, Peace out. I like to stay a little bit. Ooh, Danya with the draw. Ooh. Oh, F3. And then G2. Or, yeah, King F2 first. F3, King F2, sorry. <laughs> the real Kakbarov. I love break time. I'm not even playing. Oh, you love break time? I don't like break time. Like, when I get playing... Like, I like arenas. Arenas are kind of my jam more than um, these tournaments sometimes because of the, the pause. Like, the faster time controls when I... <sighs> Just saying, if this ends up being a draw, ban both players. Thank you. All right, they didn't play to 50 move. They didn't play to 50 move. It's respectable. Mia, you played in an arena the other day. It was fun. Mia, you should join one of our arenas at some point. All right, here we go. Exchange A, B. Oh, gosh. Exchange A, B. That's the one thing I got to avoid. It's 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 got to be this guy's specialty. So as long as I can avoid the exchange of A, B. Dude with the robot emote. Sorry, Mia. I'm not playing the Queen's Gambit. Uh, that last game... Uh, after uh, getting so thoroughly thrashed, I it's not it's not my inclination to to jump back into it right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
He's taking on d4. Okay, if I remember correctly, actually, queen takes d4. Uh, most of what I play in the London, honestly, is like what what's worked for me before. And I've played tons of games here. And so I have played with e takes d4, but I want to say there was a, a good period of time I was doing it, and I just didn't like it as much. And so... I started to switch. Uh, let's go rook d1. e5 is not a threat yet. Yeah, I want to play queen f4 and then go for e4. Ooh, he's still preparing the e5. Wait, wait, wait. e5? I think this still works, though. Oh, unless, maybe if he plays d4 first, it doesn't. d4 first, e5, take, take, we trade. That endgame is better. I think that endgame is better. If he goes here, my thought was queen g5. And then I play knight d5 first to distract this knight. Because if I take rook g8. So I play knight d5 first, distract the knight, and then I can take threatening the rook. And I have successfully... Oh! I have successfully blundered a piece because queen f6 is a move. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. And I've opened the file on my king. Well, lovely. That was not smart. That's not how you win chess games. Oh, he's going for the queen trade. Uh, I think I allow it, unfortunately. There's a bit too much going on if I avoid it. Wait, should I... Should I take... Alright, I think I should take. Knight h3 is scary. But I, I'm threatening queen takes e5. Ugh. <sighs> All right, we're 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 gonna we're gonna enter the zone. the The goal here is to play fast. The goal here now is to play fast because his king is open enough. If I can get him low on time, I think there will be some chances. Okay, and I got I got a pawn. I got a pawn. All right, he's winning it back immediately, which sucks, but I got it. It was a brief moment of excitement. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, this will force the queen to go back. I really want to avoid trading queens if I can. If I can. If I can. If is garbage in this situation. Ah, well... Let's at least uh, get that bishop out of there, which will free my other rook. Yeah, I know. I know, you're the most lame person ever. I get it. I get it, that's what you should do when you have the advantage. You should be lame, I do it all the time. I'm kind of a fan when it's me. That's doing it. When it's not me, it's super lame.
Rook C1 was a complete bluff. I was not going anywhere with my Rook. <laughs> I was going zero places with my Rook. But, hey, the bluff, he did try to stop it. Did try and stop it. King h6? No, no. Of course not. He couldn't be that nice. It would have been so nice, though. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's not so easy. Yeah, here. Here. <gasps> yes! It's not so easy! Yeah! <laughs> H5! The trick! The trick! Okay, this probably still is a draw, though. This probably still is a draw, but hey, <laughs> at this point, I I could live with the draw, you know? I could live with it. Do -do -do. Yeah, like the bishop just stays. There's not really, I don't know if there's even a way for me to really try and trick him here. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, hold on. Drop in a piece. I'll take that. I'll take the draw. Ugh. Ah, he just came back. How did you swindle him? With absolute genius. Oh, gosh. It was So it all starts with G4. Like, if he just plays Rook A5 and ignores me and starts pushing the pawn, like, it's it's kind of done. Um, but he started with taking, which already was questionable. Then he goes king h7, which rook g8, it's of course still winning. But it does, like, it just became a lot more complicated because I actually have ideas of just repeating, right? Checking, pushing the king to h6, then going for a draw. And here was kind of the, the main trick, h5. Um, okay, bring the rook to h5. His, his idea is clearly rook g6. So I stop rook g6, check. Go back, and because the rook's now on h5, he can't he can uh, he can't play rook g6 anymore. He did, but I picked up the rook and yeah. Okay, here's here's just a draw, I, which which is which is fine. Oh gosh, <laughs> uh, GM special mind trick. Hey, when it when it comes to swindling, particularly in faster time controls, easier said than done. But number one thing. It's just understanding what your opponent wants. Here, for me, understanding rook g6. Everything I did here is just to prevent rook g6. And went for it. It is break time. Yes, Mia. It is. So let me... Ooh, Andrea Kin. One. Gonna check out these final games. And then... Then I'll throw the standings up. And hurry and uh, run to the restroom. I'm gonna, don't mind me taking this tab. I'm gonna throw up the timer in the background. Yeah, this is kind of boring. Um, I want to take a look at the, at the opening. He he was good. He was he was precise in not letting me just get happiness, which is kind of lame. But yeah, I guess e4 was just a bit too optimistic. Although apparently this is still good for me. Queen g3, take, and then c3. 
d6, queen f6, queen takes c3. So the potential is there, but yeah, I just totally spaced queen f6. I just totally spaced it. It was uh, ugh. not good, not smart. Oh, Bortnik did end up going down. So we do have standings. I'm fade that. And so you guys can see. Timer has started. I'm going to run to the restroom really quick. Magnus in the lead with Jeffrey. Ooh. All right, I'm back. He lost. How? Oh, I I mean, it's he's under he's under uh, time pressure. This is a this is a tough end game to hold, even when you have a bit more time. Tum, even when you have a bit more time. Hey, Steven, Title Tuesday. It's all right so far. I have five five out of eight. Felt okay about it. How's uh? How's Title Tuesday been for you? If you're still if you're still in chat, can I try and go find you? Steven, Steven, where are you? Oh, you're also five out of eight. Yeah, why can't I find you? My search thing did not search. What the heck? Oh, you changed your username. Ah, no wonder I can't find you. <laughs> You're no longer angry space void. Uh, let's see. So we have a minute and uh, 45 seconds left for the break. So we're getting close. Your name is now Practical Play. Ah, uh, Steven, that's just confusing. Hey, hey, there you are. Nice, nice. Dishonor on your cow. <laughs> that's awesome. What a, what a nice username. Oh, uh, we might play then. Uh, watch out, watch out. Both five out of eight. How have your, how have your games been, Steven? Pretty good, pretty good. Under a minute. You got accused of cheating in your last game. Hey, yo. Who, who accused you of cheating? I mean, I assume your opponent, but... 
It's crazy. Tensions are high, I tell you. How about yours? It's been pretty good. I had one game I got, like, absolutely destroyed. Um, so that was a bit of a downer, but other than that. Got accused by Sako Chess. Okay, nothing. I mean, obviously, I, I know you're not cheating, so I'm not really. Oh, oh, wait. The game has started. All right, well, look, looks pretty good. Here we go. Man, that noise scared me. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was, I was looking at stuff. Good luck, Steven. If you can still hear me, you, you probably can't, though. But good luck. Yeah, I have played this guy before. I was going to say, this guy, is this name or something about him just looks familiar enough. I beat him last time. <laughs> beat him last time, so. All right, bishop g4. Is a pretty good move. Yeah, e6 is a pretty good move. And what did I decide? I know I've played both. I've played both bishop d6. I feel like knight d6 is technically better, but I think I've liked bishop d6 better. Like it just feels feels just a little bit better to me. Cuz I should keep him from castling here with the capture, yeah. Yeah, now c3. Like, it's fine for him because I am a bit underdeveloped going for all this. So I'm a bit underdeveloped, but... His king, he will have to take a couple of moves to get his king to a better spot. Okay, okay, okay. Let's preemptively play this, because now he has to be a little careful. Like, if he wants to go king g7, and even just in general, knight takes e6, I think is a threat. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He drops back. Actually, let's go knight takes. I think covering these light squares, at least until I castle, is a pretty good idea. And... Let's throw in h4. It looks scary. Wow, he's going to go with h6, really. Okay, h5. Because I have the light square bishop, so this pawn can be a target at times, but I don't think it's going to be... I don't know, get that arrow off. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Queen f6... Tempted. Seriously tempted on that move if he does nothing. Seriously tempted. Ooh, Queen F5, I have a trap. Okay, well, lame. I don't want it anyways. It was a dumb trap. Uh, queen f5, f3, bishop d3 was was, was my idea. Uh, now, you know, a little take. Queen d4 is nice, I think. Okay, I... Yeah, I think take. If he takes that pawns, I'm going to have to take a move to move my bishop. But that pawn would be, I think, too weak. Hmm. 
Ah, okay. F3. F3 is a big possible idea here. Big possible idea. I think it works. I think it works. I think it works. Um, yeah, I, I was calculating take queen g7, take knight e7, rook c7, thinking after rook d1 this knight was trapped, but in the end he can take on h5. Okay, but I scared him. Oh my gosh, out of all that, I'm going to come up with winning a pawn that mess and i'm just gonna i'm gonna win a pawn okay <laughs> oh lovely what a beautiful day to play chess you know <laughs> uh, all right well that will get rid of my backward pawn yeah dude i'm not not playing these games get out of here I really just don't want you to have an active rook my guy can can we have this understanding Please, really just don't want you to have an actor rook. If, uh, oh, don't. Mm. He was tricky. He was tricky, but we got him. Whew. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> this was, this was a bit sus. <laughs> uh, what I, what I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I, uh, I thought I had here, 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 here. And uh, that the knight would be trapped. Like I could play here, and then he takes, and then I take or go trap the knight. But that was just, it was such a silly thought. He has f4 too. Oh, you lost this guy. Hey, hey, let's go. Santa hat is giving you powers. But yeah, he, he just got a little scared. And 
I mean, it worked out. This, this oh man, this end game. I yeah, I slipped up a little bit, but rook d6, rook d6 was nice because he has no good discovery with the king. And yeah, we got there. We got there. It was a bit scary, but oh, rook h7 is a draw. That's actually a really nice. That's actually a really nice draw. Uh, because if he goes for the mate, I actually can't escape it. Because as soon as we hit this point, king g1, he goes for this check. Uh, like I've seen this idea a lot in studies, but... Ah, wow. He had a chance with this idea. He just went for it a little bit too late, king c3. And now I went to this side, and if he, if he goes here, king c3, now I check him. I just, I want to make sure this king is as far away as possible. And then, and then go for it. Oh. Ooh, Magnuson first. Oh, here we go. Hey, Amon. Look at this. Amon. How's it going, buddy? Oh, I think he... Oh, he's playing G3. Okay. Okay. Knight D2? Oh, gosh. I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to play B5, though. B5 should be the move. Yeah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking it. You should do it. Come on. Lame. Lame guy. Uh, Mon's good. Mon is a good player. I've played him over the board. I've played him like 90 games of bullet. I've... <laughs> A lot of respect for him. But this 92 is interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how this plays out. The fact that he's not bulleting this is a bit strange to me. Because uh, I can't, like, I'm not doing anything too unusual for the opening. Actually, I think knight f6. I thought a lot about e5, but I don't think. I'm too worried about him pushing the pawn. I don't think I am. Well, maybe I should have been, but I don't think I am. Uh, let's go, go a little bit spicier. C4. I think I'll likely, I think I'll likely lose a pawn here, but I'm optimistic that I get counterplay. Optimistic. Yeah, because, I mean, this actually is pretty typical for these lines uh, where black does get a lot of play with the bishop on g7 against those pawns. It's not not too weird. Uh, he at least can't take c4 right away because there is a pin here, which is nice. And uh, that will at least give me time to castle. He's thinking, he's thinking... Oof. It's real serious here. He does also have this move. I haven't seen any time I think that benefits him. I think trading these bishops just benefits me, but it is a forcing move. So he goes for c3. Okay. I had a plan. I'm going to stick with it. Oh, he's dropping back that way. Hey, thank you for the follow. He just joined the doghouse. He does have the sack, but I think that's fine. I think bishop e6. I was thinking a lot about bishop a6, but... I think the bishop here will be better. 
because it releases this pressure against e7. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Okay, what? Let's do this. Queen d3. Let's get let's get aggressive quickly. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. He's hesitating. He goes that way for the capture. Hmm. Put the queen on c2 and just ask him what he's doing. The next rook d8. Okay, rook d8. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, man, I, I, uh, 93 almost got me because I, I, somewhere back, somewhere back a few moves, like I'm like, Rook D1 wins a piece, wins a piece. And I got Rook D1. And then, and then he played knight d3. I'm like, wait, I can't take c1. Oh, why? I thought this one a piece. <laughs> oh, it does. I can just take on f1. <laughs> uh, uh, that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good. I, uh, yeah, I mean, going for this, the exchange sack was good, but I think he just took too much time. Like being able to play queen c2, it should be, it should be okay for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, he had a knight g5. That was it. He had knight g5, which would have given him good chances. But other than that, I think it's just like, I have enough pressure that it's just hard for him. And once we got here, you know, it was just, he was playing under, under so much time pressure. Hey, Sabar-ish. How's it going? Let's see, any games left? Oh, and Garo's still playing? Garu. Ooh, interesting endgame. Up two pawns, but it's opposite color bishops, so. Oh, but maybe bishop e4 and then run the king? 
I was kind of a fan of Bishop E4 because of exactly that. If he moves the knight, oh, he goes for the trade. But those pawns are too far apart. I think this is this is GG's. I think Hikaru got has got this. The opposite colored bishops can be a draw, but two extra pawns that far apart, that's when you turn it into a win. Because, yeah, the king gets distracted by one pawn, and then you win the bishop with the other pawn. Nice, nice. <laughs> Alan Chess taking out a mon like it ain't no thing. Ugh, it was a thing. It was a stressful thing. But felt felt pretty good. So, Barge, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Big thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have I have played him on. I don't know if he realizes actually, but we 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 played like a couple of months ago. We played like ninety bullet games. I've played him over the board a couple of times as well. Lots of respect for him. But today, the chess dog, chess dog takes down the chess bra. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time, you know. The dog. Exactly. Ooh, big pairing. Renato Terry. Yeah, I've seen him around a lot. Um, I feel like we've played, we've played five times. Wow. I must have played him outside of Title Tuesday. Unfortunately, has a pretty good score against me. Ah, queen d4. Hey, wait, we're getting this line. Third time today. Third time today, e5. Third time. Third time's a charm. It's been a charm so far, but third time's still a charm. Okay, but he's playing it with bishop b5. That's a little bit different than what I have gotten. I think queen c7. I'm starting to think queen c7 was, in fact, not the move. Maybe it's fine. Okay, this is what I want to play. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's good. This feels okay, though. Like, I've lost the pawn, but I'm attacking here. And rook c8's on, a, on its way. And he hasn't castled. I feel, I feel okay about this. Despite being down said pawn. Wait, rook c8? Hold on. Queen b5? E6. Oh no, he has 97. He has 97 check. Okay. It's not it's not pinned. Not yet. He has a check. A sneaky, sneaky check. But Queen B5, Rook B8. That looks pretty good. Oh, that looks pretty good. What is he thinking about? Knight takes... Queen b7.
Saves everything. Dang. All right, all right, but the, the bishop is restricted. Bishop is restricted. We're holding, we're holding for now. That doesn't work.
Yeah, it's no. <laughs> oh, dang. What a game. Oh, what a game. That was intense. Ah, oh, I almost got him. But the, the trade was not, not the way. Ah, uh, what was wrong with Rook take? Well, the problem is if I take the Rook, then my King has to go to F7. Ugh. POV when you're tight on money, got to get a second job. Magnus when he's tight on money. All right, let me log on to Title Tuesday. Yeah, the stalemate trick. Uh, I just, I don't think... <gasps> Rook A6 here was... There was a stalemate trick, because Rook F6 I can take. Oh, this was it. I was so close. Ah, I had him. Oh, that's tough, though. That low on time, I mean, I... How how many times did I get down under a second? Like, uh Oh, I had him. I had him. Okay, I definitely didn't have him. I was definitely completely losing. <laughs> and I had him. Uh, I probably... He, he was good. Bringing his king in. That was smart. And... Yeah, I was just, I was just worse. Um, here. Rook fc8, queen b7. Rook cb8 is the move. Ah, rook cb8. Yeah, because cause this doesn't work, right? Because king h8, and then I was thinking I had some problems with rook takes, but yeah, just take on a7. But rook cb8. Ah, yeah, so I should I should play queen c8, and then if rook d5, rook e8 here. Ah, it's interesting. That's an interesting game. All right, let's... Uh... Let's take a look. Oh, Magnus with a massive ten and a half. If we played one more round, Magnus could just could just lose, and he's he's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the route for for our champion here. Uh, his one draw was against Ferruja. Beat Zagalko. Jeffrey, Duda, Levon in the last round. Wow. This, uh, the tournament. No, not bad. Not bad for Magnus. Be Ari and Terry. Wow, okay. Yeah, Magnus just showing up to collect his, his money and move on with his Move on with this day, Hikaru in second. So Hikaru, it didn't look like he ever played, uh, he never played. Wow, he never lost. Hikaru drew four games. Four games. He never lost. Got nine out of 11, drawing four of them. That's crazy. It's very unusual. Jeffrey... Lost to Magnus and what? Um, anyone know the story here? Jeffrey plays one move and then. Just lets it, I imagine, sit here until he gets the auto resign. Dogs versus bras. Yeah. It's amazing to me how Magnus still has the itch to just crush everyone in his path. It was too much for him. I I guess. That's crazy. Like he he still ended up placing second. Took down Fabi, Dimitri and Drake. It took down Ferruja. Lost to Magnus, and he just didn't want to play a second Norwegian. That's really weird. That's, like, insanely weird. Because if he were to lose like this, I would expect him to have not played a move, right? You expect him, maybe something happened, he got caught up with it, couldn't, couldn't play the game. But 
one move? That's so weird. The fact that the, the stream isn't showing up, I guess he probably wasn't streaming it. But, I mean, good, good job to him. He had a killer tournament. Took down a lot of really strong players. Ooh, Aronian did have a chance. If Aronian had taken down Carlson, he would have he would have been there. But hey, there I am. There I am. 45th. Not too upset about that. Dimitri and Draken ended up with seven out of eleven. I ended up I ended up catching him. Oh my gosh, after losing. Wow. He did not finish well. Lost to Jeffrey, Bogdan, and Gabuzian. Uh, Mia, I ended up with 7 out of 11. So not too bad. Not too upset with it. Uh, I gotta admit, the one game I just got like absolutely destroyed did take it out of me a little bit. But 7 out of 11, taking down Amon, you know, you know not too upset. Got to play a couple of really good players, Andreakin and Am I Terrible. That's the first time I've read that out, and it finally clicked. <laughs> Friend, you are not terrible. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, uh. Actually, he's actually, you know, I thought about it. I thought about it. He's actually, he's actually pretty good. Baby B, 7-Eleven is your favorite store? Nice. It's uh you have favorite stores? Here, let me let me log into chess dogs. I'm down to play. If anyone in chat does want to play a game or two, let me know. I'm probably just gonna keep playing though. You know, at least for a little bit. Title Tuesday, so official. I feel like I uh Got to play a little bit more after that. Corrupted Cobra was the one asking, but I think uh, I think Corrupted Cobra may have may have disappeared. Vamps, you're still muted on Chess.com. Yeah, want to play? Let's do it, man. Do you, I get black against you so much? Do you challenge me where I get the black pieces? Ugh. <laughs> Mia, no, they, they, uh, they silence F words. But that's, that's, so wait, vamps, is it just like an immediate, like you use the F word and they banned you for a week or did, is it something like people still have to report you for? Ah, uh, let's move out of the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just like this channel, what? Oh yeah, F-words, yeah. Yeah, F-words. <laughs> Mia, why are you going after chess.com? What do they do to you? Yeah, immediately. Ah, oh, that's kind of crazy. That, that, that actually is a bit... That's a bit crazy to me. Is Lee Chess better? Uh, Lee Chess is pretty good. Lee Chess is pretty good. And I found out free moves cost 0 0.1 seconds. Not pleased with that. They're free on Lee Chess. Yeah, actually, so there are two things when it comes to playing, that I like better on Lee Chess. I, also, I will say this. One is the pre-moves. Uh, I do not like that they cost because, I mean, it's 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 kind of in the name, right? <laughs> like, it's a pre-move. I made it before my opponent. Why is it costing me time? I do agree with that. And it's a pre-move, right? Like, make it just one. One at a time, right? That's the other difference. Just.com, you can make crazy amounts. Uh, it's it's weird. It it is a weird inconsistency to me. Uh, with 
with chess.com that they make a pre-move cost time, right? So it's like, hey, they want realism. But then they let you make 100 million pre-moves. And as long as they're legal, you can play it. It's like, I think you should make up your mind. Do you want it to be realistic or do you want it to be like like a, a, a pre-move? It doesn't make sense to me. Eleonora, Title Tuesday was good. Ended up with 7 out of 11. It's pretty solid. Got to play a couple of, uh, you know, 3,000. Wait, 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 wait. The reason I wasn't panicking about that move is because I was pretty sure I could just take. Guess it's not a perfect science, but... <laughs> no worries, no worries. I think that's a great point. Yeah, I wish I had... Lee Chess had multiple pre-moves. No, I, I actually really like the way Lee Chess does it. Uh, I like... Because, because pre-move, I mean, it's... It's kind of a weird concept. Um, hey, uh, baby B, how's it how's it going there? Um, I I just think like like if you were playing a game and and if you've played enough fast time controls over the board, you've definitely you've you were ready to end the game. Okay. This guy. I thought us me of getting black all the time was suspicious. Um, yeah, I just think of it like in a game. Like in a game, if you're playing a really fast time control over the board, sometimes, sometimes you do pre-move. You do. And, you know, like sometimes you do it so fast that you are basically hitting the clock before your opponent does. So it isn't costing you time. And it it sort of makes sense to me, right? Like that's that's real. You do that. Okay, technically you're not supposed to, but you do. If we talk about real pre-moves, that's how it looks. Is you play it before your opponent, you start hitting the clock before they do. No second runs off your off your clock because you're pressing it that quickly. Uh chess.com. The multiple pre-moves can be really fun, and I, 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 I truly believe they keep it for the streaming purposes because it visually looks really cool when someone does it. Um, but it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like it just doesn't make sense to me that you can make that many pre-moves, and it is, it is annoying because, like, hey, if you, if you can pre-move, you know, singular move that fast, and and it works. Like, it still feels like a game, but I still have chances to flag you. Uh, I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, and maybe that's what it comes down to, is I, 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 just, uh, I just like it. I just like it on Lee Chess a little bit better. Multiple premiums are amazing. Don't say that or they'll take it away. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like the intensity of, of having to continually find those moves. I just think it's a good time. And I, I will say either way, either way, I, th I, think the, I think the issue for me is that I don't particularly like um, that it costs time. I, I, I like that pre-moves don't cost time because to me it, it just makes it a bit more real. Like, hey, if you can move fast enough that you're taking no time, it kind of takes it that step away from flagging. You know, just a little bit. Takes it away from flagging. And I just feel like if you have multiple pre-moves and it's not taking time, that, that, that kind of crosses the line to me is, okay, like, let's not take time, but not take time and make multiple in a row. That's a bit too far. I just feel like uh, taking no time plus having to make each move kind of keeps you honest to say, hey, if you can do this, if you can pre-move, you're getting in the moves. Like it move, it takes it that step away from flagging without being completely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this works, but I'm going to play it first and then calculate. <laughs> Lee Chess has an ugly interface, therefore it sucks. Lee Chess is just 
very, very direct about playing. It's very direct. You just show up, the buttons to play are there. But, uh, yeah. The aesthetics could be better. Wait, phone app doesn't record moves and studies? Oh, that does kind of suck, eh? There's a Lee Chess app. <laughs> Surprise, Mia. Ooh. Oh, it's there. It's there. Where is it? Where's the fun? Where's the fun? I think... I think the fun is here. Okay, I think I should have... Never mind. I'm not going to say what I should have done. <laughs> uh, Kingsley. Why? Because they don't have a pink board? Of course. Oh, they, they, they do have a pink board, but it still sucks. No, to me, if you're just looking to play, then Lee Chess is excellent, right? If you just want to show up and you just want to play a chess game, Lee Chess is great. If you want to get into some other things like events, arena, well, the arenas are good on both. But if you want to get into more like studies, videos, or other things, then I think uh, I like chess.com a little bit better. Oh, you had to edit it to make it pink. Ah. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. eventually, yeah, eventually that square is going to disappear. I will accept this rematch, but you better let me play white. If you abort this game, I will abort the game when I get the black pieces. Why do I play? Because it's a sodium attack. What, what do you mean? Why do I play this? I played this in Title Tuesday. I'm on board. Man, I, I, I Hikaru went through. <laughs> so that's how it's going to be, huh? You think I'm not taking you seriously. That's why I'm playing knight a3. Ah, so you're going to play king d7. And I'm going to destroy you. Now, to rub it in, I'm not going to take on g5 right away. I'm going to play h4. Yeah, and I'll take that. And I'll keep going. Uh All right, all right. No, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> uh you don't respect the sodium attack. My goodness, come on. What's wrong with the sodium attack? Fine. I'll play d4. You just you really want to play something here, don't you? You want to play the Benoni. Oh, that's right. You want to play the Benoni. That's my bad. I should have known. After all your talk, you want to play the Benoni. But you're not going for the main stuff, huh? Let's play H3. Yeah, I don't I haven't played G this G6 one too much. You're done, little bro. Hey, hey, bring it. Well, Eleanor, are you even older than me? You don't have to say if you don't want, but you call me little bro enough, and I don't think you're older than me. Or maybe I'm wrong. I thought from a previous conversation that, uh... Yeah, you're 20? Exactly. I'm 25. I was gonna say. I feel like I remember from a previous conversation. I'm actually older than you. That's fine. You can still call me a little bro. I don't mind it, but <laughs> it's funny. Okay, Grandpa. Oh, gosh. Excuse me, vamps. 
pretty sure I'm older than you too. Show some respect for your elders. Oh gosh, never mind. Wait, am I actually I'm actually for once in my life, I do feel a little old with this chat. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Phil King, those few months. A freaking course. Bamps, you can't tell me you wouldn't milk those few months. Wait, if I... Castle you take, knight takes here. Let's take first. Not that that changes too much. I guess my knight stays on c3, so it's extra protected. Queen b7, now I can protect b2. This, uh, like, Benoni slash Banco is kind of interesting. Interesting. Is this definitely more Banco? At this point. Yeah, I didn't need to protect that. Mm. This knight was doing a good job. I still think rook b1 to maybe start preparing b3. Should be good. Oh, the stretches. Yeah. Uh... Kaden is a big believer in respecting your elder. No, I'm really not. Which I'm sure is what you're referring to. <laughs> hey, Matt, how's it going? Oh. We've had this conversation before. Yeah, b3 was... Maybe I should have gone a3. I was a bit worried about queen b3, but maybe queen b3, queen e2. Let's do this. a4, knight b5. I lose the pawn on d5, but maybe it's good. Gonna milk those few years next time we meet, Caden. Wait, Kingsley... I know you've told me this before, but you're 28 then? Can't see it right now, but I'm dancing the pink chihuahua. There you go. 28. I respect your wisdom. Almighty Kingsley, my elder. You look 18. <laughs> Wait, can you say that to Kingsley? Uh, Vamps? Is that okay? I'll let you think about that one. Am I gonna do the pink chihuahua jan dance in January? Uh, I don't dance. That's, uh... uh so... I will not. No. Mm -mm. I'm good. Thank you. Chihuahuas are not dogs. They're evil demons. What? <laughs> oh, vamps. That's why I get carded everywhere. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. No, Mia, you know I don't hate you. I definitely don't want you to die. I just don't want to dance. I don't want to dance with somebody. I don't I don't want to fill the heat with somebody. I don't well, how does that sound go? Oh, it's three. Oh, oh gosh. Wait, I'm gonna flag you. I've been playing faster. Okay. Whew. We're good. We're good. Saved. Throw a check. Throw another check. GG GG. Oh wait. Okay, one more, one more, and then uh I should play Eleonora. Whoa, D4. The mix. Not a pure... Oh, wait, Mia, you actually have a Chihuahua? Did I know that? I don't think I know that. I knew that. Ooh, Jobava? Jobava. 
I'm going to go Fabiano on you. Knight b5. No, knight b5. So knight b5. I remember Tony doing something with this. I thought it was just not good. Hey, look. A reverse sodium. Ha, 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 ha. You've fallen for my trap card, sir. Get upset when I play knight a3. Ah, oh, gotta see the cats. I still, I still am kind of on board, Matt. I'm still on board. Someone joked about this. I think it's hilarious. We should get a cat and name it Dog for our chest dog. Like, if we ever get a chest dog pet, I think we should get a cat and we should name it Dog. For the, for the memes. <laughs> uh, and because cats are kind of cute. Uh, I had a cat when I was three, but it ran away. Oh, sad. It probably couldn't live in the office. See, that's that's why that's why we haven't gotten a pet yet. Is it would need to live at one of our houses and <gasps> Hold on. Wait, give me a second. Be distracted. There are no tactics here. Good job. There were no tactics there. Good, good. Glad we're in agreement. How do I avoid knight c4? Uh, knight c4 traps my queen, actually. Because uh, I only have these two squares, both of which get discovered. You're a wizard, Harry. Wait, who's a wizard? I would sponsor the cat. No kidding. Wait, Kingsley, when you say sponsor, like you would be the one to take care of the cat named dog, of course, right? We're, 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 we're on board. Pin message is making my dog sad. She can sense the negative energy. Wait, is there a pinned message? I don't know. The, the setup uh, since we've switched has been a bit weird. There was, oh, shoot. I don't know where it went. As long as it doesn't live at your room, we could talk about it. Oh, I meant you because you're doing some dark changing. <laughs> what? No, never. I definitely do not play mind games with any opponent in the stream. That would just be a douche move. Would never do it. At this point, I am fully consigned to my usual tactic of this. This right here. This is my this is my backup. This is plan A, actually. Plan B is to actually win chess games. Uh, this is plan A. That's why I try and play at a pretty good pace. Uh, just in case, you know. Just in case plan B doesn't work, we go plan A. And in this case... Plan A, I think, is going to work out pretty darn well. Let's uh, rearrange this bishop to B5. GG, GG. All right, Eleonora. 
Where did I, I feel like I missed something here because I didn't get a fantastic 84. What's 94 was good. Take, take, take. And I guess I, <gasps> the queen's trapped. Oh, okay. So 94 here. But yeah, I, I uh, kind of played one of the worst reasonable moves here. Rook d8, because now my queen is most certainly trapped. Yeah, I, don't, I, I just, I don't know, I missed knight d6. Uh, was... Wait, d6 and I'm in trouble. No, <laughs> no. I just played bishop b5, of course. You're not good at blitz. Why 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 don't you why don't you uh challenge me with an increment, baby B? Try and avoid avoid me flagging you. Yeah. I play boring Smith Mora. D3. Super speed, super speed. I am speed. Super speed. All theory, 100% theory. Love to play me in a 10 minute. I'd actually be down. I'd actually be down for that. The thing is on Tuesdays, because I stream, I stream uh, later, like, I need to eat at some point, but other than that, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here, ah, knight to d4, all right, all right, let's be, let's be smart, let's go, actually, let's try and take with the pawn, open up that file if you take my bishop. Eleonora, take the knight, or take the bishop. You know you want to. You know you want to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's a, that was a, I'm not going to let you play mind games with me. Get out of here. <gasps> oh, shoot. That pawn is hanging. That's okay. This pawn's hanging. Haha. -ha. You've fallen for my not so trap. My plan C. Survive. About oh, 2,000 rapid, but 1,600 blitz just because I really need to think about my moves. Hey, that's, that's not bad though. Like, if you're going to be better in one, it's better to be better in rapid. In my personal opinion, Because it's better to improve, or easier to improve your fast time controls if you're good at the slower ones. This could get spicy. This game could get spicy real fast here. Could get real freaking spicy, or could not. Actually, how does this keep from getting spicy? I feel like it's just getting spicy. One way or the other. Oh. Yeah, King H1 is a good move. King H1 is a really good move because I can't take. If I take with the bishop, bishop takes. And if I take with the rook because I no longer have a discovery... Rook c1 is going to be a game over. Ah. All right. All right. I respect it. That was a good find. Ooh. Does that work? Hold on. Hold on. Does that work? 
Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. It could be good. It could be good. But it's only it's only against one move here. I think I'm going to go for it, honestly. Like, if this one move happens... Bishop h6. Okay. 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 <sighs> well, I'm a bit nervous about this. I'm a bit nervous about this, but I'm going to take here. I'm going to take there. Get ready. Get ready for my brilliant idea. Hopefully brilliant. Could be completely stupid. Yeah, leave the bishop on f8. The bishop on f8 keeps my king safe. And so I go for the counterattack. Yeah, bishop g7. I have to take with the king. Queen takes e7, king h6. King is safe. That square is covered. That square is covered. King is safe on h6. And now queen f4 is GG's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was ready for bishop g7. Ah, let's go. I think, uh, I think you have to play queen g4 here. Queen g4. Yeah, queen g4, okay. <laughs> queen g4 is better. Um, but, yeah. No. Lenora. Oh, no, no, not even with the abbreviations. Uh, queen g4 I saw, but I didn't see king h6 covering everything. Yeah, I what I what I was missing here with queen g4 is I thought I could play rook f4 and then take... Uh, but, yeah, rook c8's kind of nasty. Rook c8's kind of nasty. Um, let me play one more with Eleanor, if Eleanor wants to play one more. And then we can do a uh, 10 minute. That was a spicy game. Ah, oh, the Grunfeld, okay. What are some weird lines that I know here? Man, I really should dust off some of my my weird lines. I'm playing this Queen B3. That just did not go well for me here. There's there is a Queen A4 check. That's interesting. Can I be lame and play the annoying thing a lot of people have been playing against me? I think I will, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll be that that lame guy. Knight c6, yes. All right, it's d5. Why do I want to play weird lines? Because um, in the Grunfeld, there's a lot of theory, but the big downside to the Grunfeld is that there are a lot of like weird lines. There's a lot of weird stuff that actually is kind of viable for white. And it's, it's honestly, in my opinion, the best way to play against the Grunfeld because if you put a lot of time into something that's unusual that they rarely see, but is somehow decent then it is less likely for them to be prepared for it a6 here i i thought a6 came before but do i know any reason why or does it just transpose i think it just transposes i'm gonna play bishop a4 scary oh no <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse this to white's first. I don't know. I'm actually enjoying playing this with a flipboard. It's very comfortable for me. Yeah, bishop e6 is the critical move. And what am I doing here? I was really hoping Eleanor wouldn't know this far. 
I want to say it's Queen C1 for some reason. I don't remember why, but I want to say the move's Queen C1. Maybe to go for this? Go for an attack? I think I'm going to do that anyways. Don't know if it's stream appropriate, but you really like the song Gangsta Paradise. Nice. <laughs> Have you ever heard uh, Weird Al Yankovic's parody of that song? Okay, nine of three. We're on the attack. No, they're, they're, it's it's kind of funny. It's 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 kind of funny. <laughs> it's uh, it's, it has it has some good moments. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should have taken on e7 first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, rook d1. We're in no rush. Rook d1. Just a calm move. Nothing going on here. Don't even worry about it. No sneaky tricks. I would never do such a thing. F6 while necessary makes you win some pain. That's fair. That's fair. Hmm. Each four, each four. H5, yeah, bishop f7 is white h4, not knight h4. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Let's go here. Ooh, da 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 da. Wait. That's kind of sneaky. Hey. Oh, I'll throw this check in. Yeah. 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 Because now you're pinned. And then take with take with that rook. Oh. Huh. Ooh. Oh, that was scary. Huh. <gasps> I got pre-moved. Oh! Oh, but we save it with rook a5. Oh, I got pre-moved tricked. And now I'm tricking back. <gasps> Gosh, do I even know how to win games? Oh my goodness. Ugh.
Yeah, actually, on second thought, I'm not going to sack the queen. I thought about it. But now I'll sack the queen. Oh, GG's. Wow. Wow. That was, that was, a, that was an intense one. Oh, Queen B2 just wins. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, Queen B2. Yeah, I, th I thought there was a reason you couldn't take A2. <laughs> uh, but F6. Okay, Rook takes E7 was good. I think I just underestimated it. H4, H5 take, not H4. This is all good. Rook D7. Rook D7 and Rook E8. Holds. Ah, you got me with rookie five. I got you with rookie five. Oof. Ah, uh, the time pressure. The time pressure. GG's. GG's. All right. All right, baby B. Are you going to play that, uh, yeah... That again, that's fair. That's fair, that's a thing. Let's go for a fianchetto in response. Let's go for a fianchetto in response here. Oh, that's right. We're not playing Blitz. We can we can sip back. We can have a sip. We can relax. We can breathe. Breathing is a good thing. In the the over the board game I played against Hikaru, he actually played the Benoni against me. And I played it. I played a G three line there, and uh, it did not go well for me. I did not play fantastically. And I was playing against the Caro. So, yeah. Yeah. Happens. Happens, it happens. Ooh. Really taking the time here. You're back. Where'd you go? Wait. What? <laughs> you just, uh... Disappear, eh? Uh, yeah, I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't play knight takes d5. It's just dot com saying this is the Catalan now. No, oh, there we go. Benoni with d6, better. Um. Yeah. It was I think it's bishop f4. I think it's bishop f4 here. I'm pretty sure the bishop definitely ends up there because there are some lines where knight e4 take take and black ends up sacrificing on f4. Okay. Let's go bishop g5 now. Bishop g5. Yeah, I feel like it's a question of F6 or not F6. And... Got some ideas. Howdy. I'm sorry. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah, no, you're good.
Okay, Rook B1. Rook B1, and then... Thank you. Rook B1, a little, a little suspicious, but maybe not. Maybe I got some sneaky ideas. You ever think of that? Huh? You ever think that? Sometimes, Eleanor, you think I'm bluffing, but I'm not always, just sometimes. Adoption match. Are you saying you want to play an adoption match? Matt, is our new office haunted? No, 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 no. That's, that's our, that's the, the janitor. He just came to take out the trash. Nice guy. Yeah, Bishop F5, E4. Five O, not me. <laughs> oh, you're you're saying this? Oh, I got you. I got you. No, I I think I'll, I'll I think I'll probably call it after this game. Uh, do you need to think about taking a break? Wait, hold on. I thought Queen A four, but maybe I should actually. I have time. I have time. I should think about it. Uh, because the other move that's interesting is Rookie one, and I think Rookie one may work as well. But this looks better, because e8, I'm threatening, like, that's a check. That's a check. Didn't see queen a4. Eleonora, see? At some point, you gotta think I'm bluffing, but maybe I'm not, you know? Maybe I actually do think through a few of my moves. Just, just occasionally. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> yeah, Queen A4, Queen A4 is sneaky. Rookie one, does rookie one work though? I feel like rookie one does work as well because of the pin. It just doesn't feel. I don't know. Bishop takes C3, maybe not. It's it's kind of messy. Yeah, bishop takes. I think I I think I have to take, and then queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes, king g seven. Ah, maybe I'm not that much better there. Like I thought with this pin, I would be pretty sweet, but I mean, how do I take advantage of it? This knight's really annoying covering the f four square. I guess I could go bishop e seven and then go for bishop takes d six. Then knight f6, and maybe it's still not easy. Yeah, knight d7, and I definitely take the bishop, not the knight. Yeah. Yeah, I think ID five take take G four knight G seven knight F six. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Like he could play, but he could play knight up. No, I can't play knight up forward because then I take take knight f six and I pick up the rook. He can't even play king f eight there because of knight d seven. Okay, let's see. He could take here two. G four. G four, big move, big move. Knight's not completely trapped. He does have some sort of h6, but thinking I play f4 first, uh, that will kick the rook. The rook goes back, and then I take, take, and probably f takes g5 with some similar knight f6 ideas. Oh, he's going for f5. Hmm... Still thinking f4 first.
or or take on d6. Take on d6 if queen takes, then I take the knight. If not, knight c4. This gives me a pawn, and the queen on d6, after take, you'll have to watch out for bishop f4 stuff. It's also kind of nice to leave the pawn on f5, because I think a lot of the chances you would get is from that rook on e5 having pressure over there. Ooh, wait, wait, we take. Okay, maybe not bad, though. Oh, soup. Soup with the sub. Soup, 19 just soup with the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just realized. Soup with the sub. Now it sounds like I'm getting some sort of combo at a Subway or something. <laughs> yes, could I get some soup with my sub? Thank you. Follow at 12 months up. Um, perfect. Uh, that, that, that works for me. I think this is coming together. I think it's coming together. Yes, but I throw in d6. Do I throw in d6? Yeah, I throw in d6 first just to relieve some pressure along this diagonal. Take, yeah, you'll take my d6 pawn. I take over here. My king is now safe. If you take on d6, rook d1, bishop d5 is annoying. GG! GG! Let's do a quick game review because this is a longer one. Oh gosh. All right, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> 96.9 accuracy. Uh, where was my. It actually doesn't like Rook B1. It says it was a mistake. What? 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 What's rook b1? Look at that. You tell me it's a mistake. Get out of here. It says bishop g2 was inaccurate. Gosh. Computer doesn't even know how to chess. e4, queen a4. Knight takes d6, the brilliancy. I, I could do some blitz. I could do some blitz. I'm, I'm feeling it. Let me check, actually, real fast. Because Tuesdays... Me and Tony usually grab dinner first. Or dinner at some point before stream. Hey, hey, Dan R. Primo. Dan Primo just joined the doghouse. Thank you for the follow. And I feel pretty good about this game, actually. <laughs> What about now? <laughs> no, Blitz, Blitz, Blitz is good. Blitz is good. Do do 3-2, though. Do 3-2. Give yourself an increment so I can stop flagging you. <laughs> and now 3. All right, if you want to do another 10-minute, I'll do another 10-minute. <laughs> you redeemed a lot of channel points. Uh, let's... <laughs> Uh, we can do it. We can do it. I'm a sucker for... I'm a sucker for the commitment, you know? So, which which one is your main opening, ABB? Is it, is it the Jobava or the E4? Jobova. I didn't think. I thought e3 was the move. I don't know what would be the difference, but I thought e3. Man, should I? Are there any tricks that I'm I'm missing? Maybe knight b5 is a move. 
You have Neiman scores, I'm learning, but I was an E4 player your whole life. Okay. Nice, nice. I think I'm going to go back with the C6. I mean, I, I voluntarily played these types of positions as white, so... I feel like it can't be too bad. Though I might I might get a little bit more creative than I did last time. I think I'll get a little bit more creative. Oh ho ho, Tony says when. Earliest you can, mate. Dinner time. Should actually put my watch on. I've, I've gotten in a habit even for Tattle Tuesday and taking off my watch. Kind of twofold. I mean, with all the tension about cheating, I want to be as good as I can be. And it's also... <laughs> I've gotten like a lot of messages during Tuttle Tuesday and it is kind of distracting sometimes. Uh, so it's it's good it's good good both ways. All right. I'm thinking wait, I am thinking. That's good. Thinking's good. Yeah, I think knight h5 here. I'm going to adapt I'm going to adapt a little bit of that sodium attack I was playing earlier. And Fabi's idea with knight h5. For the ultimate weapon! The sodium Fabi line. The salty caruana? <laughs> yes, definitely that one. That is what I'm calling what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh... The salty caruana. Yeah, F6. And then I think because you played bishop d3 already. I'm going to play bishop g4. H3 also is a little bit more difficult because of knight takes g3. What am I feeling? What am I feeling for dinner? Mm. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Could go for wing stop. I could go for a little teriyaki girl. Could go for a uh, fueled kitchen. See what Tony's feeling. Oh, I still have this view. Hey, let me switch that real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is good. At some point, I want to play e5. I have to be a little bit careful. Uh, because e5 right now, like, there's just too many attackers, right? Uh, if I say, hey, I'm gonna take here first, take, and then e5, I have to watch out for rook takes h7, bishop takes g6. So I want to get an e5, and I feel like that should be my idea. Oh, you're going for it. Allowing knight takes g3. Allowing knight takes g3, Okay. I think the bishop goes back. Where does the bishop go back to? E6? To find a home on, on F7? Yeah.
do 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 what yeah i i don't know i kind of like my position if i well i guess i there could be some consideration to me playing queen d6 and castling queenside i think there is some consideration for that uh but putting my king over there when i feel like i really should be attacking the idea of doing that is to lessen the potential attack for him over here. Uh, I think I'm going to start with queen d6. Either way, put pressure on this pawn, because that's really going to tell me something about the possibilities of, a, of the attack over here. Yeah, I'm leaning I'm leaning towards this and then playing in the center. Because if I'm playing in the center, I want I definitely want to castle queen side. Right? It's it is a little bit safer for my king. And you're gonna let me take g3, huh? I accept. I thought about it, and I accept. I will take on g3. Whoa, Tony's in the building. Hey, yo. I didn't think Tony would be here today. Yeah, castle. The salty caruana. The salty caruana. It's cracked. I tell ya. A little sodium. A little fobby. Before you know it, you're beating the Jobaba. Ooh, do I shut down e4? I could shut down e4. Does weaken these squares, but I think that's fine. I think it's worth shutting down, shutting down e4 since there is so much riding on e4. Yeah, yeah, and, and my bishop, like, if I really need to cover this square, my bishop can. Uh, it already is covering e5, so I think I'm, I think I'm just kind of chilling here. I think I am. Oh. And I will, I will work towards playing e5 myself. So shut down e4. So that pawn stays there. Now if I can get an e5, that will be a weakness. Yeah, knight to c5. I did think about that. And I think that's kind of what you have to go for here is white. But I don't know if it's that threatening really. Like if I just keep going, I don't I don't think I see it yet. We'll have to be I have to be mindful of it, but I don't think it's there yet. B6 is a good resource if I need it. Uh, as scary as Bishop A6 looks, I can just move King B8 and I'm chilling. Remove that, because I definitely do want to take, if d takes e5 happens. Any other tricks that I'm missing? I don't think so. I think this is fairly 
fairly clean. I think it is fairly clean. Um, I think the interesting idea here would be actually to reverse a little bit, go for g4. I'm thinking of g4, I play knight e6 with the idea of trading. Okay, never mind. Bishop takes e6 was kind of what I was going for. Uh, so that if takes, I could avoid the isolated pawn with bishop takes f5. Here, I think it is finally time to go b6. Queen d2, I, I was a little bit worried about, or at least mindful of, uh, after I played e5. And I think I would have done the same, just b6, because queen a5, queen a5 does look a bit scary. I, I It's probably fine for me, but it does look a bit scary. I guess I could have played maybe b6 after queen a5. Hmm. Yeah, no, c5. Now we, now we reverse. We reverse the attack. It's knight on c7. It's pretty, pretty solid. It's a pretty solid piece. All right, that bishop's going to f3. Let's start with h5. Let's go. If it's going to f3, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this pawn to g4. Pawn goes to h4 to stop me. I think I can just uh, go win that pawn. Okay, wait, wait, now I go after e3. Now you have to play here. Oh, I got ideas. Oh, I got ideas. Oh, you got some, you got an idea too. How worried am I? Eh, I'm a little bit. You know, we should we should take a second, think about it. All right, so this this is this is the move I have to watch out for, right? Because that's that's when danger could could be real. Uh, if that if that rook gets into play, so let's do this. Let's play c4, which shut that down. That also shuts the bishop down. Queen takes a7 happens, but now I take here, and unbelievably enough, that get, threatens the queen. So I'm going for a queen trade, and the bishop. Oh no, the queen two, the queen two. GG's. Wow, we had three guessers. We had guessers on that game. The Salty Caruana. Let's go. Yeah, this... Uh... Ooh, it says Bishop takes C7. Wow, that's kind of spicy. Bishop takes C7 here. Queen takes Knight H4. With lots of tac with lots of tactical ideas. Oh my goodness. F5. Bishop takes. Can't take because of the knight. E5. Oh no, baby B, you are good. You are good. I think, I think it was a good game. I just, uh, I got your number, my guy. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Bishop takes, take. Wow, this could have been absolutely insane. And look at the evaluation. Point two. Oh gosh! Wow. No, that that just keeps going. Bishop takes c seven, really far. Okay, I should have apparently taken on g three, because now bishop takes c seven again. It likes. 
But once I got this, yeah, once I got in taking on g3, looks like I, I, I managed to keep, keep the advantage. And yeah, not bad, not bad. Game review. What is it? What is it overall? What's the accuracy? Not bad. Not bad. 2650. Hey, 2650. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pretty solid game. BBB, thank you. GG's, GG's. Thanks for playing. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support through Title Tuesday. It is much appreciated and... Don't mind that sound in the background. I'm pulling up Twitch to see who is live. If you guys have anybody that you think we should raid, let me know. I'm just taking a quick glance uh, at who is. Oh, okay, okay. Gonna send, unless you guys have anybody this time. Actually, let me take a quick little look. I feel like I feel like I, I want to. I'm seeing a lot of like big, big names, which I don't mind. I like I like the big names. They're good. A lot of love there, but anyone anyone smaller who can find? I'm not seeing them. <laughs> oh man, is this what is this what Tuesday evening is? A lot of the, like, Eric Rosen's live, Nemsko's live, uh, Bigfoot is live, Bach is live. Oh, gosh. Um, all right. I'm just going to, I'm going to go with the St. Louis Chess Club. Ilya Nishnik, it looks like, is the one instructing right now. Big fan of him. Really good chess player. Sends you over. Go show them some love. Thank you all so much for being here. It is much appreciated. Hope to see you all back in about three hours. Me and Tony will be back and we'll be we'll be having a good time. We'll be having a good time. So thank you all so much. Take care.